Hey guys! Oh my gosh, so many of you. So quick though. I love you all. Thank you. Um, I figured we would just do... Uh, did you get the Oreo cake? I need to know. We're doing my birthday party on the weekend, so I haven't gotten the Oreo cake yet. Hey, how's it going? Can you hear me loud and clear? Am I good? Happy birthday, me. Thank you guys so much for the happy birthday wishes. I super appreciate it. You're even going to watch the ads? Oh my God. I don't even know if I get ad revenue on <laughs> live streams. Who knows? What would you guys like to do? Um, I didn't really have... I kind of forgot it was going to be my birthday. And I was like, oh, I'm also getting 400,000 subscribers. And I was like, I should do a thing, basically. Every birthday cake just tastes like bread to me. You miss your mod privileges, Iganok. Well, unlucky. Congrats on 400k. Thank you so much. I think it would be fun. See how fast you can win a normal difficulty. It depends on like what the exact specific c categories of the game are. Because there are like ways to win in like sub 60 turns. If you turn on some of these modes and you roll for like the perfect start. Um... blob game torture for your birthday that's not typically how i celebrate my birthday but i'm not going to judge you if that's what you do i kind of like i just i really love when we just play civ personally like that is when i have the most fun playing civ like when we just let me double check no mods have like turned themselves on all right we've just got our ui mods Um, yeah, we've just got our basic UI mods. Uh, do a totally random let's play Civ. You're the master of that. I th that's when I feel like we're doing we're doing the best stuff. You know what I haven't done in a long, long time is some sort of land map, and I consider Seven Seas to be a land map. I consider lakes to be a land map let's do a lakes game yo tato will you ever venture into against the storm again yes i will for sure my lakes deity difficulty standard map size um Maori on a land map. I just, I really like it when we just do totally random stuff. Let's do lots of water, lots of rainfall, regular temperature. We'll do legendary starts, new world age. Abundant resources. Everything else is fine. Happy birthday. I've been watching for two years now. I loved your content. Thank you so much. It's the best time of the year to have a birthday. It is. Nice and sunny day that I am currently hiding away from by sitting in my room playing Civilization VI. Is Against the Storm um, ever coming out of early access? I don't know. I, I, I would assume it is. I would assume. Thank you so much, Stuart Nielsen. I think maybe my stream alerts thing might be broken or maybe i'm on the wrong uh let me let me check my stream lamps stream more often well i do plan on starting a patreon 
Um, and one of the Patreon rewards will be more regular live streams. That would be the hope. Um, how do I... Do I want to play Grand Columbia? We'll think about that. Yeah, I, I know. I get it. Hold on. Potatoes. $10. Okay. And zero cents. This is a test donation got a for $10. Test. This is a and test donation cents. for $10 and zero cents. How do I see my history of events? Because Stuart Nielsen's thing didn't show up in this list. Thank you so much, Adam. I appreciate you, buddy. More likes for the birthday boy. Um, Let's have a little bit of a think. Do I really want to play Grand Columbia? I mean, they're kind of cool. It's kind of funny that I rolled Grand Columbia. This is kind of an interesting start location, actually. Lady of the Reeds and Marsh. Do I have a faith tile nearby? Ooh, I even have a really good furs tile. So if I were to step one tile to the right and I were to work the marble, I would grow to the furs really quickly. Ooh, okay. There's something to be said here for a Lady of the Reeds and Marsh. Oh my god, but what if I go for the Edamananke? I have no production over here. That's the big problem. But this would be one of the most disgusting Edamanankis if I could get it uh, in human history. Uh, we did just find the part of the map. That whatever the camera just did, that just means we found the end, like the middle of the map. Floods would give production, maybe, but also hurt our population. Like, I feel like we have to go. I feel like we just basically, like, if I don't beeline the Edamananke, I am just playing the game wrong here. So I think we step one tile to the left to cross the river, and then another tile to the left, that way we have all the floodplains inside the city. All we have to do is figure out how to get our, get our Pantheon. Because the, the, we just we have to do it. I'm sorry. We just have to do it. Um, so we're going to settle here. Boom. We're going for the maximum value at a Mananke. So this will definitely be a farm. This will definitely be a farm. This will definitely be a farm. This will definitely be a plantation. This will definitely be a plantation. These just make sense to me. Uh... This will be a plantation. This will be a plantation. And ninety-nine cents. Happy birthday! Thank you so much, uh, Bubba Fluber, and Paul Skabob. Thank you for becoming a member for thirty-one months. I really appreciate you. I like this start. I think it's a pretty reasonable place to be. Um, I am tempted to do a really sneaky builder first. To try to grow and get plus one housing so we can go for the Edabananke. And really rush it down. Build our first farm farm. That would be three food, one production tiles. Which would help us grow. Four dollars and ninety nine cents. I can't stick around for long. But wanted to wish you a happy birthday smiley face. Let's try it. Let's, let's 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 do a little wackiness here. We're gonna build a rush. Um, in terms of tiles that we're gonna work, let's have a look here. I definitely I'm gonna set gold to not be a focus because I do not care about working these cotton tiles. Um, I care way more. Mm, would I rather work the three food tile or the two food one production tile? I'll grow three turns sooner here, or I could build this builder five turns sooner and grow three turns slower. Mm. That early growth is kind of huge. You get half a point of science per pop. But here's the thing. 
I'm going to have tons of growth this game. So what I need... I need as lots of population to work these one production tiles. That's what I need. And I need a one production two food tile as well. I'll need to buy some of those, maybe prep to chop. So I'm thinking riding into mining is going to be the play. And we're just going to hope that a builder first pays off. It's a rare situation. Oh my sweet Jesus. We need to get the Lady of Reeds and Marsh. I need to find a tribal village. I need to get Lady of Reeds and Marsh like ASAP. There's some more foxes. My God. That is a lot of marsh tiles. No tribal village yet. That's okay. There's a barb camp we can go kill. Get a little bit of money. Get a little bit of experience out of it. Are you re-rolling if you don't get out of Mananke? Of course I am. <laughs> Is that even a question? <laughs> Is this one got lakes mod? Nope. This is just a standard map roll. Um, I can attack once and then rest, I think. Attack once and then once you go asleep. Hope you like mosquitoes. Now I could grow in four turns and finish the builder in four turns. Now that's a lot more reasonable to work the sugar. I think. A five food tile? That's workable. So I definitely need a monument this game to grow these tiles. I need gold too. There's a two production tile. We'll need that. We'll definitely need that. Plus it's choppable. Maybe I can live without the monument. Improve, improve. Those become high food production tiles. Buy, chop, chop, chop. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. Potentially. We might be able to make this work. Thank you for the happy birthday wishes, guys. I really appreciate that. You're all superb. I'm just going to wait for this guy to be fully healed. And we have Code of Law. City is growing. I'm going to say food and production. More important. Work that. Step here, do a little farming. Irrigation boosted, remove my pin. Look at that. Just waiting to be flooded. I could go plantation. Okay. One, two, three. I think I do go second builder here. Happy birthday, D. D. And the reason I go second builder is so that I have builders to chop. Any Sean Bean TTS today. Thank you so much, Air Vanath. And Jake Calder, thank you for becoming a member. I appreciate you, man. God, it's, it's been so long since I did a stream. Thank you. Oh, look at all these first time chatters. His fickle, thank you for the happy birthday wishes. Tyrell Dream sucks. Thank you so much for the happy birthday. Uh, Fire War 18, happy birthday, you scuttering gobshite. Thank you. I really appreciate you greeting me in my native tongue. And Cybro GG, happy birthday. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. I appreciate you all. Okay, brilliant. Um, we've got two little three food, one production farms helping us grow. For all of your content. No, thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I was up all night playing Civ, came here to put something to fall asleep to, but I really want to be up for the stream. Hey, listen, dude, you can always uh, just watch the VOD. Sean being TTS today. Happy birthday, my dude. Uh, thank you, Quincy Dunker, for the $20 donation, and Jacob Filco for becoming a member of the channel, and Leetum Tradier1 for becoming a Twitch Prime. 
Uh, thank you so James Siv for the happy birthday wish. First message in chat, by the way. Uh, playing Secret Society? No, we're just we're just doing a chill. My favorite type. My favorite way to play Civ is just like a chill, normal, relaxed game. So that's what we're doing. We're just doing really, re really, really chill, really, really relaxed, fun game of Civ. Happy birthday from your former colonial overlords. Thank you. <laughs> Normal relax with extra movement. That's right. We are playing Grand Columbia. So we do get plus one movement on all of our units, which is kind of fun. And we're going for a weird little Edamananke play. I don't want to put the Edamananke here. I will if I have to. But I mean, I guess it's fine here. I'd rather not put it there. But it can go there. That's fine. Um, also, I'm pretty sure Hacienda's... Plus one food for every two adjacent plantations. Increases to every plantation with replaceable parts. Plantations has Hacienda's plus one for every two... Oh! Increased every Hacienda. Only being built on planes. Uh -huh, okay. So this is a great Hacienda right there. Um, so what we want to do is this kind of a configuration eventually. Just coat the border in haciendas. Eventually. When do they unlock? Does anyone remember? It's like mid-game, right? Yeah, they're over here at Mercantilism. B500, zero, zero, it's also your birthday. Wow. I can now proudly say that I have the same birthday as a legendary potato. Hey man, July babies, we're the best. And uh, you cannot deny us. We are just superior uh, in basically every way. What victory are you aiming for? I don't think I particularly care about winning a game of Civ. I mean, at a certain point, you've won so many games of Civ that you ask yourself, like, does it matter? And I can really confidently say no. Um, it doesn't. See, where are we growing? You're growing to that nice, juicy tile. You should definitely work that production tile. We don't need that much growth. Let's go ahead and buy you. Slowly buying out all these nice, juicy chops for us. The Coffee Dante Generals. That's actually a really good way to describe them. All right, good stuff. I would absolutely love to get the Lady of the Reeds and Marsh Panty on this game. Um, happy birthday. For reference, when a Beyond Earth playthrough? Well, actually, so I'm currently working on a Patreon. I'm hoping to launch it in the next little while. It would have been super cool if we'd been able to launch it today. Um, unfortunately, we just couldn't. Um, and the basic premise of the Patreon is you guys will be able to vote on what games I play. So if you want to see me play Beyond Earth, uh, yeah, go ahead. Knock yourselves out. You can vote for it. Uh, was your mum worried you might appear wearing a bowler hat? Paraphrase from a schoolmate of mine who had a Father Ted cliched Irish mum. <laughs> I'm not sure what you were asking me, bro. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be totally honest with you there. Uh, uh, you may as well have just been speaking Greek to me. Happy birthday, Potato. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that, man. Writing is easy. So there's writing. We can now begin the Etamananke, but I think what we'll do is we'll finish this slinger so we just have a little bit more protection for these builders. Um, we'll start researching mining and then we'll go for irrigation and then we'll probably go for Edamananke there and then we'll get a builder after Edamananke. So we're going like for a single city opener, which I think is worth it if and only if there's so much marsh right there. Oh my God. Any game? Really any game? Yes, really any game. If you want to vote for me to play Hatterful Boyfriend, I'll play the bird dating simulator. I'll do it. Uh, hi, Potato. Congrats on 400k. I'm just waiting for you to surpass Spiff. I'll probably never surpass Spiff unless the assassination attempt goes through. Mm -hmm. 
if there's ever been a weird game you wanted me to play, you could vote for them. That's the whole point. The idea is, you know, the, we'll talk more about the Patreon. Today is all about the happy birthday. Thank you guys for the donations uh, and the first messages with, with genital jousting. Um, Dead by Daylight dating sim? Hmm. You'll vote for that stupid Gollum game that came out recently. I don't know what you're referencing, and it scares me. Just waiting for me to surpass three CK3 Stogie B. Oh yeah, and, and the basic idea is if you vote for a game, uh, we will play it through to the natural conclusion, or when, like... It makes sense to end the series. Wait, do I want to actually build on the marsh? No, I think I want to build it on the floodplain. The floodplain's better. Um, so if you don't know, the Edamanaki gives you plus two science and plus one production on all marsh tiles in your empire and plus one production and plus one science on all floodplains for this city. So I think, yeah, on, on the floodplain is, is, is better, so to speak. I vote for, I was a teenage exocolonist. Uh, Pogolem. My vote will be for the return of the Oberdin if you've never played it. Ooh, unfortunately, I did play it. I had a recording, but I think I deleted it. Uh, it was like five hours of me making my way through the game. Um, I didn't quite find everything because it's a really big game, but we've got Edam and Anki on the way. Um, 34 turns. It's usually built by now. We have a ton of builders. Sorry, we have a ton of builder charges. We can chop for a little bit of production in a couple turns so we'll see how that goes i'm gonna explore a little with my slinger oh that's a horseman um, at least we can get back to the city and hopefully bring this warrior back too that is a lot of horsemen um as long as they don't stand on this tile we're good how are we moving three tiles a turn? Because we're playing Simon Bolivar, the plus one movement to all units guy. He's gonna pillage my farms. He's gonna pillage my farms. He's gonna pillage my farms. I would like to get the six population because I can get early empire faster. So I will say focus on food and production for now. Um, Keep that going, and then when we get to six population, we'll focus on production only. Attack him. It's okay. 25 production for the Etamananki is like two turns of production, or three turns of production, so we want to play it slow for now. Yeah, nice little pillage. That's okay. That's his right. Gonna hide my pins while I wait. That is so many horsemen. I'm gonna chop to save that builder's life. Uh, you're gonna fortify there. You're gonna attack. I mean, they can't do anything that bad to my empire, right? Uh, that did lower my population efficiency, so I'm gonna say just work production for now. Rest in peace. What if I built a quarry? What if I built a quarry? 21 turns on the Grand Etamananki. Now the good news is, guys, is barbarians can't kill your capital. They just can't. Um... So that's worth keeping in mind. They they can't kill your capital. Oh, that's a dead builder. Flip. I should have just put him onto this tile. Why can't barbarians kill your capital? Oh, they just can't. It's just a thing that they can't do. So, like, we're fine. All we got to do is fortify our troops. Owie, that's a flood. I just lost... I just want to point out, 10 tiles were fertilized, 2 tiles were damaged, a unit was lost, and a population was lost. That was a devastating flood, okay? Both of my farms were obliterated. Um, holy Jesus. 
three pop were killed. Good grief. Work that three food, work that four food, and work that two production. You fortify. You should heal. You'll have plus three combat strength. I could also cross the river. Cross the river into defensive terrain. But then, oh, he will kill this. So I regret my choice. It's okay. I have a builder to repair it. What did you do to make Sid Meier so mad? When I was in the Firaxis office, I didn't shake his hand. I know. Listen, Sid, he, he put out a hit on me. He said... I want a piece of code that finds Potato McWhiskey and makes sure every time he plays Civ, he gets the worst look in human history. Um, and, you know, Sid's word is basically gospel in Firaxis offices. So, you know, they made it so, and ever since, I've just been having really trash luck. Um, we can do a little sneaky attack here to get rid of that horseman. Lady the Reed soon. That will be very hype. We've finished irrigation. That's not a dark age. This is the worst age ever. <laughs> Can we have a prediction if you settled on iron? It's, it's basically impossible for me to have settled on iron because it was a floodplain. Iron, as a resource, can only spawn um, on desert hills, grassland hills, plains hills, and tundra hills. So it's impossible for me to have settled on iron. Is that why we don't get an Irish Celtic sieve? Yeah. To be honest, that's just because they got a bias. They don't like Irish people. Open for access, you know? I'm just saying it. It's the truth. No, I'm just kidding. I did talk to them. I was like, hey, you know, if you guys are working on like a new sieve game, what if you, you know, you made like a proper Irish sieve and I was like, yeah, you know? And then like the, the producer guy was like, it's like very diplomatically he was like so your feedback is that it's very important for you to be able to play your culture in a strategy game and i was like yes but it, they they're actually they're actually so professional because i tried to get so much information out of them and it was like talking to a brick wall <laughs> oh there it is lady of the reeds and marsh have you heard anything about Civ 7? The only thing I've heard is the stuff that's on Twitter. Uh, plus two production on Marsh Oasis as a de desert floodplains. Boom. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. Just, just look at that. Hold on the phone, bro. Bro. Look at that. If I get the Edema Nike now... It'll be a beautiful day. So I've got 29 production in that chop. I'm going for animal husbandry. I need another 120 production. I'm generating 11 per turn. We can do this. L. 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 O. T. A. T. L. Thank you, Morbus, for being a member for 62 months. Morbus is officially, I think, my second or third longest member ever. The only person who beat him was Jessica, I believe. Was it Jessica? Someone. Someone called Jessica, I think. Um, although, I don't know if that's the name they use. I don't remember. Um, five years is insane. Knowledge of bronze working has been boosted. That's great. That is so many bad guys coming for me. I just have to, I just have to with, because remember, they can't kill your capital. I have nothing they can destroy except for this quarry and my spirit. And, you know, today is my birthday. I'm having a great time. Uh, we lost the wonder. That's great. Awesome. Cool. Um, delete the first part of the stream, please. Uh, nobody saw anything. The first stirrings of life beneath water. The great beasts of the Stone Age. Cut the footage. Just, the just cut, cut, just cut the footage. Steps, just cut the footage. Listen, we're good. Never happened. From 
this early cradle of civilization. Hey, buddies, Potato McWhiskey here. Thank you for coming for my, my birthday stream. Uh, I'm really excited now to play the Dutch. Really going to be fun. Uh, really cool abilities on the Dutch. Uh, they get Radio Orange, which gives their trade routes plus two loyalty per turn <laughs> to their starting city. First game of the day. I know, dude, I am super excited to get started. Whoa, check out this Poggers start location. Ooh, now we have the Groot Rivieren, which gives us a major adjacency bonus for campus and theater squares and industrial zones if they are next to a river. We also get culture bombs when we're completing a harbor and 50% production towards the dam and the flood barrier building. We get a unique Renaissance era unit that replaces the frigate and a unique tile improvement called the polder. And we are on a lakes map, actually, so that would be really fun because we could just... Um, we can just polder it Oh my god. We can polder here. We can polder here. Oh man. Now the polder gets plus one production. Sorry, plus one food and plus one production. Half a point of housing and plus one food if it's adjacent to a polder improvement. It gets additional production, gold and food as you advance through the civics and technology tree. It needs to be placed on a coast or lake, lake tile adjacent to three or more passable land tiles. Uh, it gets four gold at civil engineering. Um, and at replaceable parts, you get two food from each adjacent polder and plus one production from each adjacent polder. So replaceable parts, super late game tiles here. Unfortunately, we won't be able to squeak in any more polders unless there's more land here, which there might be. Um, I don't think... You, does the game warn you? Yeah, I don't know if it warns you, but man, look at those polderable lakes. I'm tempted to move over. Now, here's the thing. We get a 50% production... No, sorry. We culture bomb with the harbor, but we don't care about that. Let's have a look. Oh. Wait. Guys, you know, I don't think I've seen a start this good before. Do you think we could go for the Edamananke? I mean, we've got, like, a godlike floodplain to go for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> good to see a live stream again, my friend. <laughs> I, you know, I never go for this wonder, so I think it could be super worth it to give it a shot. Um, we got to think about where's the best place to build this city, though. <laughs> um, yeah, I've, I, I, we never build the Edamanaki, but basically it gives you plus one, plus two science and plus one production to all marsh tiles in your empire and plus one science and plus one production on all floodplains in the city. Um, that is super cool. Let's kind of think about how we want to plan this capital city. So if we if we go to this map mode, we hold down control, we can see we could settle on the right, but we would lose out on the bottom of this. What if we settled like right? Ooh, I like this tile right here. It has a weak start, but a strong late game. If we settle right there. Um, so if we go right here, now then again, if we settle this, we get plus one food because we settle on a bonus resource. And there is potential that we could do like a dam here and a, you know, aqueduct and a industrial zone. What if we drop the aqueduct? I just went for a slightly lower adjacency. Ooh, okay. Okay. We're like getting somewhere interesting here. What if I went for a second? Skull. 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 Etamanaki. Oh, thank you so much, Carl Alanik. Uh, just mod the wonder to cost one production. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't play the game like that. And then if we had a second industrial zone, is there a point in building the Etamananki if we're going to cover this river in districts? That's my question. So maybe Etamananki doesn't make sense when we're playing... Uh, are you using mods? I'm using exclusively UI mods, like this one that allows me to plan my empire with pins. Um, so if we go for Etamananki, we wouldn't be able to do all this because we would make use of all of these tiles for other stuff. Whereas I think this might actually be a better use. Just mod the wonder to cost one prod. And like, we could just play to the Civ strengths. Do you know what I mean? Like, like this. 
I think there's something to this layout. Like, look at the amount of just sheer yields. Although, maybe this would be better as a government plaza. Which means we're going second city government plaza. Is this even a lake? No, this is coastline, not a lake. You could tell it's not a lake because it's one food, one gold, I think. I think lakes are two food, one gold, maybe. That's coast, not lake. Lake is kind of a lighter blue color. Uh, I don't think crabs can spawn in lakes either. I might be wrong, though. You'll never get settlers out. I mean, do I need settlers if I have this level of yield in production, science, and gold? Lakes just look darker blue. Let's explore here. You're right that we have no production. I kind of like this plan though. Two dollars and zero cents. Congratulations. Thank you so much for the uh, Mad God of the Shivering. I appreciate you for becoming a member and giving me two dollars. I think I think this uh, this appeals to me. Put the cutty just where you are on an aqueduct on the star pin then. But then I'm not on fresh water. Uh, the idea is to settle on the rice to get plus one food to grow the city faster. Government Plaza is a fourth city sort of district. I disagree. It's a first or second city district. Aqua on Warrior. You know, that's not a terrible idea. Now it's a plus eight. We could do the same down here and get another plus eight. I like this plan. We could just do Governor Plaza late. Move the second industrial zone northeast to get plus one from quarry. Um, it's getting plus two from the river. So moving it off the river would lose, lose plus two. Flooded district is plus zero district. That's why the dam is here, buddy. Happy birthday, potato. Um, let's open with a pair of slingers to scout. Let's hide the pins. Happy potatoes. Shell door, SSG. Thank you so much for being a member for 20 months. Appreciate you. Space for Ruhr Valley. Not enough mines in this city to justify a rural valley, in my opinion. Production's way too low. We might want a commercial hub or two, given Wilhelmina's production. Well, where do I put them? You can only ever realistically plan. Do I get rid of the theater squares? Potatoes. Happy potatoes. She's meant to go for harbors. Great bath? No, we're covering this river with high adjacency tiles. Could canal on the jungle too? Oh my god, you're insane. I love it. It's a plus 10 industrial zone right there. Oh. Yeah, now we have to play this. Oh, okay. Lovely little... Flood occurs one turn before dam exists. I'm pretty sure that that's hard-coded into the game. It's literally... It's happened so often to me that it has to be hard-coded. I think this plan is all coming together. I'm liking it. Oh, did I mention another pair of polders up here? Giga Chat? When do they even unlock? No, 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 it's in here, isn't it? It's like, it's far in, I wanna say. Yeah, guilds. So not like super deep in, but pretty deep in. Um, 
But to go for animal husbandry, there's a couple like flat tiles nearby. It would be nice to get horses on. Replace the hub with the dam and the dam with the aqueduct. But then this isn't on the river anymore. And it loses its lovely adjacency. Do I really, do I really need a plus 12? Um, Potatoes. Industrial zone? Wishing you a nice birthday. Yes, you do. Have a well then, where's the yourself. commercial hub going? Potatoes. I don't like this. I don't like this. I prefer this. I prefer, I'd i rather have a plus 8 and a plus 10 than a plus 5 and a plus thing, especially. I, 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 I prefer this setup. Build a harbour, not a commercial. Where? I'm not coastal. You could argue maybe to build a harbour in this city because it's going to be coastal, but not in my capital. There's nowhere to build a harbour. There's no good spots. The commercial hub just makes more sense and the fact that great merchants are just better than great admirals. I, I just I just don't dis I disagree, my dude. Can't you do an industrial zone triangle like you did in your videos? I mean, technically. I, yeah. No, it's just not enough room. Is there? Wait. Wait. No, there's not enough room on this river. Too many cooks in the kitchen? You're damn right. Oh, a city state. Zero, but where is the Venetian arsenal going? Where's the Venetian arsenal going? Uh, it's going up your arsenal, dude. All right, nice. There's Cahokia. Cahokia is actually a great city stay for this now we could go harbor in this city if we wanted to free up this tile i don't think we do unless we really want to do promote the poor warrior um that would mean he'd have to not move for a turn i could move this city one tile to the right and that would mean it would leave one, two, three. It would leave slightly more room on this river system. Yeah, okay. Move the city one tile to the right. Although then I don't get to settle on the rice. But I think that's fine. There's a good little polder right there. Great little polder. Panama Canal in the capital. Just regular canal. City on Warriors isn't better. The reason that you like to go for Slingers is so that you can get the um, Archery boost. And then you go for three Slingers so you can upgrade them all to Archers to get the Machinery boost. That's why I prefer Slingers in the early game for scouting because they're kind of better defensively in my opinion. Which society will you choose? There's no. This is just a vanilla game. There's no no societies or anything like that. I, I prefer to just play the game default. Um, I've, I'm actually really started to love the triple Slinger opener as opposed to the double Scout Settler opener. I don't know why, but I've just I've started to feel really comfortable in recent times with the triple Slinger opener. Are you not going to put another $10. harbor in the Zero second city, though? Why? Potato. It's not even that good of a harbor. And then what am I putting here instead? At the like, what is what is this going to be? Nothing. Do I want? Do I even want a harbor here? What is a culture bombing? There's no fishing tiles for it to culture bomb. There's no fish beside it.
That's a polder tile, okay? That's not a harbor tile. You guys need to calm down. You damn right. Oh. Peel in 10.00, it's potatoes be day. Buy the man a coffee. Coffee. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Pretty please, I could use the energy. You do need the mausoleum of Halicarnassus. You need the mausoleum of Halicarn these nuts, okay? That's what you need. Uh, battle cry promotion, chase the little scout. The game rewards early military might. Sc Slingers are just really efficient early game units. Um, at the very least, two slingers is good. Do I want to buy a high quality tile? I didn't order a spicy potato. Yeah, got one. Um, I think the elephant is the best tile in range of my empire, so I'm going to buy my way out to that. Boop. 75 gold to get that two food, two production tile. Let's we'll save up. I am fond of pigs. There's animal husbandry. We did actually find horses. I regret not buying that tile now. That would have been a great tile to have. Um, and that makes me want to have a builder early. But is that a good decision? I don't know. Having a special birthday dinner tonight. I actually I ordered like a double portion of chicken tendies and I filled up and then I took a 20 minute nap before I streamed. So I'm ready and fueled, baby, to go for a long ass time. Call your mom. Um, let's finish pottery. Loads of cows for a potential Zimbabwe. What, it, what do I look like? Do I look like a kind of guy who builds a wonder no one builds? Come on, man. Get yourself together. Oh, this is just a beautiful... Beautiful. Now here, this is a potential harbor city, right? We got a great river system to settle. We got a plus four harbor. Okay. Plus three to start with. But all we got to do is crack down like literally any other district. And that's a plus four. Um, yeah. We're loving it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Why are you playing Holland? Why not? I randomed. Now, on the other hand, we could settle on this horse tile. Potatoes. Two dollars and zero cents having a special B day dinner tea. Is this a science game? Dude, this is just a Civ game. We're just chilling. We don't, we're not caring about winning. This is a happy birthday. We're here to just chill and just have fun. Without society, it's kind of a waste. Without society, you're a waste. Um, got him. Obliterated. Happy birthday, Jamie, you filthy animal. Thank you so much, Greenzerg. I appreciate you, Nick. I texted my mom about what you said earlier. She said, you shall be bathed, perfumed, and oiled, and brought to her bedroom. Wow. Very, very, very like 18th century. Like I'm a, I'm a lord or something. Oiled? Like, like oil? Um, I could move this one tile to the right, and then this would allow me to settle cattle. Which feels like slightly better. Yeah, because then if I settle on the cattle, this can become a harbor city. Now we're talking. We're cooking with diesel buys. That's a lot of bullshit. You should try Grand Columbia, Lady of Reeds and Marshes and Edamanaki. Oh, a tile has been fertilized and a population has been lost. A slinger has been damaged. 
blah, 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 blast. Which tile was fertilized? Show me the tile. This one? Wow. Let him cook. I'm cooking. I'm cooking like an animal right now. Did I forget to save? Oh, yeah. 400k. Yeah, yeah, okay. I saved. Um, are you trying to sing like Tom Bombadil? I'm trying to sing like your Bombadil. Oh, we got him, baby. He got got so bad. I don't think he'll ever recover. I'll tell you what else is going to be fertilized tonight. Jesus Christ, Nick. This is a family show. Hello, Kublier Canlier. We would love to sample your hospitality. Oh, you're over here in Beijing. You're actually quite close, also quite far. <gasps> A polder. Polder. I barely know her. F city under volcano. F city under volcano. F city under volcano. Huh? This one? This one? What are the implications of Kublai Khan being over there? Uh, that there is potential conflict between us. Places polled this before considering city location. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think? I'm some sort of like sick animal? Military tradition has been boosted. We got a little bit of cash out of that. Oh, hey, we can come into Amsterdam and we can buy the beautiful tile over here now we're starting to look like the city has a bit of potential um i would need a third tile to improve which would be the stone i think i'm actually gonna this is a game where you squeeze it a builder before you two settlers i think um, because i want this stone i'm gonna improve the stone the horse and the ivory boop 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 We build cities around polders, not the other way around. Correct. Why are harbor cities good? Don't they have a lot fewer land tiles to work or build? Harbor cities are good um, for a very simple reason. You super chat or gifted subs. Um, within the range Thought of a normal city. Before I pull trigger. Uh, which is better for your super chat or gifted subs? I thought I'd ask before I'd pull the trigger. Uh, whatever you want to do, dude. All of those options are there for whatever way other people oh, like to do goes. things. Um, if you want to support me most efficiently, you could just get, you could just PayPal me money. Back. But if you want to like participate in the community and be you know give gifts and super chats and make people laugh, do all that. That's it's up to you, man. The option the options are there to make you uh, have ways to contribute. A city is never going to work all of its tiles. That is the simple fact of why building harbors are good. Um, like even in my like count the number of tiles inside my capital city okay let's 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 do an exercise okay so we've got um if i put on the grid here it's kind of hard to see the grid but we've got one two three four five six so we've got six tiles in the inner ring okay six tiles in the inner ring then we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve tiles in the outer ring okay sorry in the middle ring and then on the outer ring we've got one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, and then eighteen in the third ring. Okay, so that means we would need a, th a total of thirty-six population to work every single tile in this city. Now, an average city in Civ is going to make it to ten population. Okay, so that means you need ten tiles. You're probably going to build three to five districts, okay? Three to five districts. Um, so that means you need 13 to 15 actual workable tiles, and each city can claim up to 36. So that's why it's not a big deal if a city is next to water and you build a harbor. Because the harbor is being built on a tile you don't need anyway, I and you only need laugh. so many I'm land tiles. Rich. You know what I mean? That's why cramming cities together is really efficient in Civ 6. Anyway, hopefully that explains it. I don't make people laugh. I'm not Irish. Thank you, Janice Darkey. Um, I'm sorry for your loss. 25 minimum, but I like to play Kamai. Well, that's not how I would have finished that sentence. Um, hey, thank you so much. 
Mountains are unworkable and districts have multiple work slots. That's somewhat true. You can build your cities around high IZs. I think I will do a little bit of that. For sure. Oh, hey, we met uh, Nalanda. Nalanda. Those lakes under Beijing. Yeah, those are great lakes. Beautiful lakes. Oh my god, thank you for the gifted subs. Andrew, 10 gifted Potato McWhiskey memberships. Hero. Love you. Thank you so much, dude. Screen fuzzy or just me? Is the screen fuzzy when I move it? Uh, check your... YouTube has been doing this thing where it like messes with your... um. Do you have any plans to forward settle China? I mean, they're a little bit too far away to really consider forward settling. I mean, if you really count this, there's like... Um, there's 20 tiles between us, so I think there's plenty of land between us. And I think there is also plenty of places for me to settle. This is a really big map. You don't need to forward settle people on a lakes map, in my opinion. Australia, we would love to sample your hospitality, good sir. Any special re settings or rules for this run? We're just playing a default game of Civ, man. It's my favorite way to play the game. I think, look, I think challenge modes and events and all that stuff, that's just for other people to do. It's not my style. I like to just play a, a, a straight up vanilla game of Civ. Listen, and if that makes me less of a man, I don't want to be a man. Um, we're just, we're just chilling. It's my birthday, okay? So I get to play exactly how I want to play. Um, yeah. How dare you play a game just for fun? I know. Because I think, here's the thing, here's my opinion. I make my best content when I'm just playing the game and chilling. I think I, I make those challenge videos because that's kind of what the, the, the audience wants to see um, but it's not really the kind of content that i love so i think we're going to keep playing god king here because i'd like to get my pantheon and we'll keep playing discipline here because i would like to be able to fight barbs if if it is necessary sounds like a man who has it all figured out is this deity this is deity correct um you can tell it's deity by the fact that the ai has ridiculous um score compared to me oh we found another city state wolan Wolan received great general points when a land unit defeats a major or minor civilizations unit and received great admiral points when a naval unit defeats a major or minor civilizations unit equal to 25% of their strength. Nalanda gives you access to the Maha Vihara, which is a unique tile improvement that gives you science, housing, and faith. And then Cahokia gives you the Cahokia amount. A lot of tile improvement guys today. How would you rate the Netherlands? Ooh. I would say that the Netherlands is... I would say like a mid-tier Civ um, in vanilla. The major adjacency on river tiles is great. The polder is great. Um, the in external trade routes giving culture is great. I would say the Netherlands are would be a really good team multiplayer Civ um, if you need someone to be a naval gold generator um to be because the zeven provincian is fantastic um i believe it takes less niter too compared to the frigate maybe it has less production cost and all that sort of stuff um so yeah i, I would i would say netherlands are like a mid-tier like they're just pretty good they got a lot of stuff going for them they don't have like the most explosive early game but they've got bonuses that help we're going to go for early empire because we want the colonization civic and we also want the ability to produce governor titles we're now uh, going to produce a builder plus two settlers to get up to three cities. And we'll see where we go from there. The Netherlands feels like a solid B tier. Yeah, I'd say I'd give them like an average sieve, um, like a mid tier sieve. That's like a B tier. They, they feel like a solid B tier, like they're just a good B tier sieve. Oh, now there we go. There's a little bit of production on some of these tiles. We're going to go ahead and get the horses improved. We're also going to go ahead and buy the quarry tiles so my goal with this builder is to improve this horse this stone both of these tiles will give me plus one production so that's going to be 
plus two production in my capital city, which is about a four, a 25% increase in its current production capability. Um, and then we'll also get this luxury online, which we might be able to sell to the AI for a boost in gold. And then that might help us snowball a little bit. You think the Netherlands is a good sieve for beginners? I don't know if it's a good sieve for beginners. I think it's just like an okay sieve. Who's the most F tier sieve? Honestly, I think we're at a place of balance in sieve where I, I don't know if there's a bad sieve anymore. I'm trying to think of who has like a... Who, who's a bad sieve? Any early wonder you're trying to get? I typically don't just don't care about early wonders because it requires... Um, a, it requires a decent amount of luck to get early wonders, I feel. Um, not only in like the placement, but also the situation that's required to get production. We rolled a really low tier start here. Um, we had no two food, two production tiles within the first two rings of our city. Um, which is what I would consider to be like the lowest tier start above starting in a desert or a tundra. Um, we're going to go ahead and place a the pasture. There's the knowledge of horseback riding is advanced considerably. Gilgabro gets significantly harder as the difficulty increases. Yeah, but his early game is so strong. That he just doesn't care. You can't kill him. And like the early game is when the AIs are going to try to kill you. Poland is also still bugged. Um, I don't even know about that. Quarry down. There we go. Looking tasty. Two extra production. We're up to 10 production per turn now. Would love to get a city down here. Need to get over here to kill this barb camp. Unfortunately, it's kind of in a bit of a, a bit of a spot. Uh, I feel like we've got good scouting info in our immediate area. We're, we're lacking a little bit of intel to our northwest, but I'd say generally we have good intel of this lake, which we're going to try to take control of. Tamara is just bad. I don't know if Tamara is just bad versus her bonuses are just kind of weak. Poland is supposed to have holy side adjacency to military districts. Do they not have that? Well, I suppose you could mod that in, I guess, but still. Now, I'm hoping to draw the Spearmen out of the camp. Looks like we drew the um, Scout out of the camp. I've got my own Barb Warrior making his way here. We've got great... Oh! Oh! The triple... Oh, baby, a triple Polder Lake. And another Polder here. Nice. That's a polder city right there, baby. Now, this might be the mausoleum city. If it's going to get all these juicy polders. That might swing me in, a, in, a, in that direction. Taters, what's, what's better? Um, where's the revenue better? It's not about the revenue, Jack Coffisher. Um, it's about what? Yeah, I'm yawning. It's about what is easier for my viewers. That's that's why there's a lot of variety available. Um, I try to stream my content to as many places as possible. I try to make my content available. Um, you know, options available for my viewers. Um, all you got to do is watch. You don't you, you don't have to donate. You don't have to do anything. Now, if you want to donate, if you want to subscribe, dude, I love you for it. Thank you so much. You're supporting me, doing literally my dream job. Um, how could I not love you for that? Will there no, be no more updates to Civ 6 since the next Civ game is in the works? Um, I would I would bet that we won't see another update to Civ 6. How many people do you think you can beat you if you had a deity bonus? Ooh. I think maybe like... It, it really depends on the situation, but probably like... Four or five really dedicated players who knew what they were doing could stop me. You thought it was against... Da -da -da. Depends on the save as well. Oh, Guys, you, you remember when you were a kid, right? Apparently we share a birthday, the happy birthday. Oh, hey. Thank you so much, Squidjet. You know when you're in school, right? And like the teacher forgets to give you homework because they weren't paying attention. You guys are reminding the teacher about homework right now. Is my point.
Um, Paul, this is the unique improvement in the Netherlands we always built. The floody, the, this river is incredibly floody. But when the kid next to you goes, teacher, what about homework? Exactly. You guys are asking for homework. Have you, have you been contacted by the Ara History Untold developers? Um, no, I haven't been contacted by them. I applied to play in their playtest thing. I think that they're doing through Microsoft. I'm going, like, to be raw and honest at this stage of the development of that particular game, my hopes are um, in the doldrums. Um, I'm, I don't want to... I know it's very early, but the things I've seen, like the screenshots of that game, um, don't inspire a huge amount of confidence in me, um, if I'm totally honest with you. But I'm not writing the game off. I'm excited to try it. Uh, let's see. Okay. Camp. There we go. Craftsmanship boosted. And we get a little bit of extra cash off that. When will Potato be added as a leader in Civ? Did you not see the thumbnail of the video? What game is they talk about? There's a new game being made by a studio that Microsoft acquired or something. Um, and they're making basically a sort of 4X strategy game um, called Ara History Untold or Unknown. I don't remember. One of the two. The Ara Ara 4X game? Yeah. Why is there so much bullshit? I don't want there to be bullshit. There is a way. For me to make this work. And it involves watching your mama twerk. Um. Have to buy another slinger, unfortunately. And head for archery. Exclamation mark, mom. <laughs> Um, ba -da -bum -ba -da -bum -ba. Ooh, we could do a fidget spinner over here. Any fidget spinner enjoyers? So that's one, two, three. So if I were to settle here, aqueduct to there. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Fidget spinner, chicken dinner, chicken dinner, fidget spinner. How do you feel about it? Is it glorious? Congratulations on successfully circumnavigating the sun again. Thank you so much, the Forno. Government Plaza. What in the holy production universe? 
ZI 35.00, congratulations on successfully circumnavigating the sun again. Best of luck on your next attempt. What are we going to go for here? I think, I think I'm tempted by God of Craftsman. It gives me that little bit of a trickle of production. Um, Goddess of the Hunt is quite good here too. Plus one food, plus one production on camp tiles. Dirt, dirt, dirt. There's another production up there. There. Yeah, I, I think the thing to go for here is God of Craftsman. Plus one production, plus one faith from improved strategic resources. It scales reasonably well. I don't need to do much in the way of faith. It allows me to swap out the God King card for plus one production right now. I think I think the fidget spinner play is the play that we will go for. Um one, two, three. Hear me out. What if I move this city back this way a tile? Okay, we're going to do a little bit of an adjustment to my empire. We'll move this city down and left one tile. We'll move this city up and left one tile. And then we'll move this city to the right one tile. And now we can fit a city over here to scoop up all these glorious polders. One, two, three. If I settle right here on this... Boosh, we build a harbour. Boosh, we build a mausoleum. And Boosh, polder, polder. Now we've got, in range of this city, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven polders in range of the city, plus a whole bunch of coastalable tiles. I like that. I love that. Uh, do you have an intention to go back to Age of Wonders 4? Did you burn out on it? Um, I'll probably go back to Age of Wonders 4 sometimes towards the end of the year when I think there's a new DLC dropping towards the end of the year. I could be totally wrong on that. Um, that is my general plan. And beyond that, I wouldn't describe myself as burnt out. Rather, I just kind of exhausted all of the things that I wanted to do in it. Uh, another horseman. Come on, I need you to move. They're going to kill me. If I kill this guy, he's going to kill this. Maybe. You know what, dude? I'm just... I'm just not having a good early game. And we're, it's fine. Five and zero cents. I love how Potato has pinned his entire empire. And we all know either barbs or air I will ruin it. Happy birthday, Potato. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. Cut the VOD. Never happened. Okay? Listen. Halsey, thank you so much. Appreciate you. Now begins your greatest quest. From this early cradle of civilization. Listen. Hey, buddy, Potato McWhiskey here, and welcome to uh, the uh, Happy Birthday livestream. 400,000 subscribers. We're playing Gorgo as the Greeks. Um, very cool save to play. Wow. Uh, we actually got such a powerful start location. You know, I feel like this start location is way too powerful. I think I'm just going to have to re-roll this. God, what a fucking shit start. Right. Uh, settled desert. Go for the 2-2 two -two tile. Hopefully the furs can save us. Jesus. You know what? I'm going back to scout first. It served me well. Oh, we've got floodplains. We could go for an Edamananki. Oh my god, I almost never build the Edamananki, dude. Pyramid Rush, actually, unironically. Pyramid Rush is huge here. 
Um, with the quarry, I don't need a builder for a little while, but we can do a pyramid rush. It's your birthday. <laughs> Groundhog Day. <laughs> Bad production, kill the start, let him cook. This is start is at least a little bit more doable. I could have I could have fought my way through that game. It was just like it was funnier to restart. It was just funnier to restart. I you know. I'm curious what will end of the VOD in the end. Those are some nice tiles. These are great tiles. I agree. Scout this way. Is he on the highest difficulty? Correct, I am. Deja vu. Having a wood for first tile is practically cheating, but it is second ring. It's not first ring. Which way do I want to scout? I think I'll scout north. Oh. No, that's not a city-state border on the edge there. I've done it too. Just turn off barbs zero, then. Zero potato plays every sieve on his birthday. More fun. Potato plays every sieve on his birthday. True. I mean, we're just hanging out. You know, we're just listen. Listen, dude. We're just hanging out. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal mine? Oh yeah, baby. There's mining. So we do want to get a builder early. Um, we could go double quarry. Let me think about this. What if I went pyramids? <gasps> I can't put an Acropolis next to that. That sucks. But I can put the Acropolis there. And that feels okay to me. Be a good Gorgo. Pick a fight with your neighbor. Start a war for no reason. Wow, that just slapped the shit out of my scout. Um, ba -ba -bum -ba -ba -bum -bum. Happy birthday to Patahiro. The foreshadowed Indonesia game. <gasps> Giga Chad. Hey, a little bit of a lake over here, but good quality on it. Yeah, you just hide. Let's get out of there, bud. Doodle -doo 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 -doo. Happy birthday, Potato. I've already been a short time regular watcher, but I love the in-depth explanations. Always good vibes. When is the next tournament? Um, well, something I would like to do, if I get enough subscribers to my Patreon, I would love to run a viewer tournament once a year. Um, there's always new tournaments going on in the Civ 6 competitive scene, so keep your eye out. Check out On Spawn TV, his channel, I'm gonna get forward settled, oh god, it's game over. How many tiles did we spawn away from each other? $1. If it's less than 10, forget the Netherlands. Oh, seven, zero, seven, slash, oh it's just barely. RIP. Barely 10. That mother trucker. He's gonna declare war on me and I'm gonna have to restart cause I'm playing greedy. Playing greedy. Playing greedy. Discipline to be able to fight barbarians, god king to get an early pantheon, and urban planning for the plus production. We don't need survey. Survey is a low tier card. Continent split, good start. That is true. We do have a good start in the continent split. Um, let me see, what, what was your opinion, Healthy, there? Good cap is Holy Site in the second ring. Don't think I'm going to go for a Holy Site. Giga Huey to the south. There is a Giga Huey to the south, which would be really, really nice. Um, and Furs Ivory means Camp Pantheon. You know, something to be said for a TOA.
Something to be said for a TOA, TOA, TOA. Something to be said for a TOA, TOA. Please, please, no killing me, hung. I'm just gonna put that pin there and hope hungry doesn't kill me. My builder has ascended. We'll build a little quarry. Tato, hi Nish. Hello, Gandhi. A pleasure to greet you, good sir. Send you a delegation. How about a friendship? Oh, okay, no friendship. Hi, Nish. Um, ah, head this way, good sir. We will get ourselves a quarry. Oh, look at that. Two food, three production. We are happy as a Larian here. Um, we'll go for animal husbandry next. You have to play the Dutch. Looks like a reroll. Your mom looks like a reroll. We're going masonry first, boys. Gandhi nuke time. Listen, one time Gandhi nukes a guy and it's become a meme that took over the internet. What happened to the Holland game? I was AFK. What Holland game? Uh, initiate Operation Gaslight. Anyone who is missing, go, go, go. Gaslight. We were never, there was never a Holland game. Blue smiling emoji in chat. If there was never a Holland game. We've been playing Greece the whole time. There are no Dutch in Basing Say. Correct. Potato, you know I can just rewind the stream. What are you talking about? The rewind button isn't possible. Dispatch agents to take him out. Go, go, go. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents with all the singing I feel as though I'm in the start of a Disney princess movie. Get down, Mr. President. I prefer to be called Monsieur El Presidente. Oh, tribal village. Snipers on the roof. Right, there's masonry. We can get started on the pyramids. Now it's going to be a little bit of a dicey attempt here because the pyramids usually go fast. We got a couple of chops that are available. How long until this becomes a Mali game? Who knows? Let them have some lovely Greek polders. Hungary's coming to kill me. Wait. Paul. Prediction. Start a prediction. Hungary declares war on me. Um, what was his name again? Matthias is bloodthirsty. He is a peaceful man. You got two. You got a minute. He's thirsty for my blood. He's thirsty for my blood. He's thirsty for my blood. Hi ho, my daddy. Oh, he's thirsty for my blood. He's thirsty for my blood. He's thirsty for my blood. Hi, home, my daddy. Yo, he's thirsty for my blood. 
plus one envoy samarkand click get ready he's coming i'm in position to potentially pillage him if he does come so listen we're good he's thirsty for my blood he's thirsty for my blood hi ho my daddy yo he's thirsty for my blood bring your scout to raid his land Does he not see the pin? I know! Please no kill me! I I pinned him, bro. He's not respecting the pin rule. Every nation lives. He's thirsty for my blood. He's thirsty for my blood. Hi, how my daddy, yo. He's thirsty for my blood. They're thirsty for my blood. They're thirsty for my blood. The prediction never considered what would happen if I <laughs> declared war. Do 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 do. Listen, blind greed. Is the best way to play Civ. It's the only way to play. Blind greed. No, wait. Yes, it's mine. Do 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 do. Happy birthday, mate. Cheers. I've got a plan. Thank you, Ahmad Othman. Appreciate you, buddy. Member for 28 months. Really appreciate you, buddy. B buddy. Who wins if he does it? That's a great question because I. I declare surprise war. And unfortunately, that means a refund? No. I declared war on Hungary. He's a peaceful man. Your points have been taken. Point laundering? <laughs> no. You should have considered you should if you didn't consider the possibility that i declared war on him you are a fool and you deserve to lose your points he's a peaceful man zero zero big fan of huge maps with extended eras have you ever done a playthrough like that no unfortunately i can't actually do anything with this settler so we're just going to delete him yeah we're completely surrounded Unsubscribe, bro. <laughs> oh, listen, guys. He's a peaceful man. I declared war on him. It doesn't get any simpler than that. T O I fifty five point zero zero. Happy birthday, my favorite content creator. Thank you. Uh, F A. There is no war in Basing Say, correct. I wonder why Gandhi? I don't know. Why don't you go ahead and get me another slinger? Because I need those. We'll kind of delay this archery. We'll, we'll start the archery, but we don't necessarily have to go immediately for it. Now I'm hoping, yes, an escape route. Get him. Ugh. Oh, plus two culture. Did you see that culture pop up, dude? Or go so powerful, dude. It's terrifying. They should fear me. Ah! P 
apiece. Eight turns. All right, I'm calculating. He's dead if I go here. He might live if I go here. He's basically dead. He's dead. He's standing on my wonder. He's taking all the plunder. Build me a slinger. Doodle doo. You shouldn't bother building a slinger, actually. You should just go for a monument to help out my civilization. We did Civic Extension, which shows which Civ bonuses just like Dota streams have. Ooh, that would be sick. Bow. Ooh, a beautiful volcano. Ba bow. We must defend the city. It's under siege. Must defend the pyramids. I don't want to improve this. I want to hold on to that builder charge. Kill him. Do I cross the river? If I cross the river, I can recross the river. The slinger's closer to leveling up, so I'll move you back and attack with you. Then, I'll get another slinger. Oh, man. We're on the verge of archery. I would love to chop here. I don't think I can make that work, though. Nice. That's not what I was trying to do. Zdrasvuce. Zdrasvupute. Shoot him. Slinger finishes next turn. I think we can switch away from archery. Although there's a tiny shred here. So I'm going to put one more turn into it. Get him. Don't let him away. So no culture victory. We can, we can, you know. There's things we can do. Once you fall back, let's take the Goddess of the Hunt. Boom. Can you get a kill? You can. Not. Cannot. Um, put a turn into a monument. I think we can survive this. Fuck, I really needed that archery trigger to this turn. Now I'm triggered. Move back over the... Kill. May the forces of e Upgrade. Kill. Oh, ten culture. Early Empire, okay. We've defended. We're complete we're killing hungry. I think that's the goal. Dollars and zero cents. Happy birthday to Uh we'll go slightly. for bronze working. Um, a few months back, and my kids keep trying to claim it. I may have to declare war on them. Uh thank you so much. Uh outlaw Josie Wales. I'm hoping to do more plushies. Fond of potatoes. Dogs look up to us. Cats look down on us. Potatoes treat us as equals. We do treat you as equals, even though we are superior. I mean, like, you really think about it, like, we're kind of better than you, and it's, like, it's one of those things. Doodle -doo -doo -doo. Embrasure? Ah! 
without craft. Wait, I have a better move this turn. Wait, we might be able to survive this. From the first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the Stone Age, to man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Wait. Now begins your greatest quest. From this earth. Hear me out. This guy has a promotion, okay? Fortify. Shoot. Skill without okay. Step. Okay, Promote. Boss. Step. BKK twenty point. Fortify. Zero, zero. Cancel Happy fortification. Birthday. Promote with battle cry. Boom. City defended. God, I just need to kill this scout. All right, he wants to buy my furs. Apple bottom jean, jean. Boots with the fur. Upgrade to archer. Step forward a tile. Shoot him. You promote. You fortify. City defended once again. We are heroes of the glorious resolution revolution resolution step forward and shoot step forward and now we've got three archers to throw back at them all right and we almost have the pyramids i mean i think we're kind of making it work here never doubted you <laughs> you should have that's not the kind of unit I wanted to see. This scout is like literally standing on all of the perfect tiles to really just absolutely turbocharge my anger. Hey, oh, all right. Uh, most important thing here is to kill the chariot. Because that's the scare unit. We can't cross the river and get him. So we'll just play it slow. We're getting our experience. Oh, enemy archer has been discovered. Let's step forward a tile. Bring an archer. Cycle an archer. Boom. 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 Enemy archer down. We get a chunk of culture. Excuse me. Seven culture. Ooh. You love to see it, boys. Why am I getting so much culture? I don't understand. Well, Sparta, why are you making so much culture? Weird. If the pyramids are stolen this turn, I'm restarting. Okay, we're good. There was a moment there where I held my breath. What are you um, on? Let's go for drama and poetry first. We are going to go for this now. Temple of Artemis. This is the greediest war opener I've ever done in my life. I would love to build a monument, but I need this TOA. Oh, shit. Is that... Is, Monument's got to be it. Boom, boom, boom. I want you in a room tonight and forever. Forever we together. Uh, free inquiry. It's the basic default choice, in my opinion, unless you already have a religion. We shall go for research. No, sorry, connoisseur. We want that culture. We want to pump up the culture. Pump it up. The Venga Boys, the Plenga Boys. Why is everybody trying to talk to me, dude? Get out of my face. Perfect. Kill. Ten culture. Give me that. Boom. Horses. Horseback riding. We can soon, soon start the hoplite production, but we don't need it yet. Oh, there's real horses coming. Okay, first things first, we get rid of the chariot. And now we start popping this horse. We need military tradition. We need that flanking and support combat bonuses. 
India has the largest military in the game. I mean, we're getting kills here. This is just resource farming, honestly. And I killed a settler and I'm using up all of his production. This is honestly putting me in kind of an okay place. Economically. Ow. Bronze. There's only so many times we can sustain damage like that. And that was it. It was once. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it'd be good to get my government plaza. The TOA first. Bronze. Pottery riding. Seal noises. Who started this war? Us or them? Me. I started this war. It was me. I committed, technically committed, uh, prediction fraud in that I did something that was not accounted for by a lot of people in the prediction. And, uh, I mean, technically you could say it was a prediction fraud, but really they should have known that it was a possibility. That was the true. That's the true. That's the true reality. Chat was scammed. You weren't scammed. You should have thought about it. You didn't think, and you paid the price. That's not being scammed. That's a lot of shit coming my way. Listen, how this is the question I'm asking myself every moment that I'm playing this game right now is how greedy can I be? Right, I killed my warrior. That's okay. We can make that work. Why don't you why don't you just get some damage in? He wasn't peaceful necessarily. You preemptively warred him. Hey, listen. That's one way to interpret it, but that's not the question that was asked. We're fucking dead. We're so dead. Fucking dead. Fucking dead. <laughs> okay, I'll stop being greedy. Listen. Of life beneath water. I'll play a normal game of Civ, okay? Beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Hey, buddy, he's Potato Whiskey here, and welcome back to Let's Play Civilization VI. Civilization on towards the stars. Your people look to you, Emperor Pedro. The... I could have probably pieced him out, but we're just memeing here. Uh, so. We're playing the old Pedronius Brazilonius uh, of the Amazonian Empire. Um, he's good at recruiting great people. He gets extra adjacency and appeal from Rainforest. He's got the Street Carnival, which gives you extra amenities and the Coca Cabana Carnival project. Okay, pretty cool. So he's all about amenities and adjacency and jungle and hot diggity damn, do we have no jungle. However, we do have an interesting start position because we could step on to one of these dyes tiles and settle there. And if we settle on a dyes tile, we would get plus one faith per turn, so we'd get a really fast pantheon. If I settle here, this is a jungle dyes, which is technically better for Brazil. I think all the dyes around your save is doing a bit of foreshadowing. The endless party challenge? What is the endless party challenge? <sighs> the 
this does feel like a good game to go for a holy site. There's a plus four right there. So we are north, which means desert should be to our south. Yep. So we're to the north side of the map. Oh, there is desert north of us. Interesting. Bang. Settle here. Get religious settlements. Get a really fast early game. I like it. Skadoosh. Two faith per turn on turn one immediate astrology click we go scout settler holy site um yeah but welcome to the first game of the day i want to thank you guys very much um there are no re-rolls in passing say thank you for the gifted subs t1 iron Hero of the Potatopia. Wait, did somebody say the Civ Twitter retweeted my birthday? Let's have a look. Oh, let's see. Oh, cute. They did. Let's go like all the likes on my happy birthday post. Honestly, I don't even read like them fully. So if people say some weird stuff in response to my thing, I'll probably just like it because it has a happy birthday in it. Because I'm just like scanning through. You get so many happy birthday messages. Um, on like Facebook and stuff like that. So you could just slip some weird stuff in there and I'll still like it because I'm not really looking. Did you settle there that you can so so you can buy tiles for the pyramid? Um y yes. That's exactly what I did. Pedro can get a plus twenty four holy site. Yeah, well your mom can get a plus twenty four holy site. Son, have you seen the Ick kill? A one tile in passable natural wonder with 50% production when producing wonders and districts in adjacent tiles. I consider this to be a rather weak natural wonder, but it is okay for building holy sites adjacent to. Um, and we got a free builder. That's kind of an interesting opening move. Hey, I just started playing Civ and I'm very confused about these adjacent tiles and settling stuff. Any videos you would recommend to help me? Uh, probably my entire channel, to be honest with you. Everything. Just all. Just watch the whole thing. Start from finish and go. I don't think there's a particular video that'll help you specifically. Um, oh my God, dies, dying, ick kill, I kill. I'm not sure what this means, but I can't wait to find out. You're right. The overexplained, Van Bradley is very good too. Overexplained 100. Right, so we get the settler. If I'm getting a Settler Pantheon Settler, do I need to do that? I could just squeak out a second scout and give myself a kind of interesting, strong early game. How are you guys? Wait, how are you guys making the little, like, birthday thing appear on the chat? How do you do that? How do I... Hold on. Where's the little button for that? People are making, like, little birthday... Little celebration. Boo! Like little popping things. How do you? You have to type exclamation mark mom for that? Oh, good one, dude. Oh, that's cool. But I don't have that on my chat for some reason. I, I've done it before. Test. How do I? Oh, I guess I can't. Yeah, I guess I, I can't do it. Um, test it. Noted. Get the enhanced map talk mod. Placing pins helps you out. That's true. Happy birthday. Thank you so much, Kojiro. 
You're the best, king. Slash queen. Slay. <gasps> Dare I? Dare I even consider it as a possibility that I could go for the pyramids once again in another game? Unfortunately, I don't have any stone to boost the pyramid technology, so I don't think that the pyramids are going to be a viable choice for me. It's a one-tile desert it's calling out to me. I have to resist. Another game. It's greeting time. No, 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 no. We're not, we're not greeting. Silence for the feeling. I think we go farm into plantations this game. So I will go ahead and improve the maze. Whoa, we found the middle of the map. When the camera does that little thing, that's when you know you found the map seam. And sometimes the graphics get weird at the map seam too. If you kind of like wiggle your... Oh yeah, look, 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 look. You can see the map seam. See it? We crossed the map seam. Sometimes graphics get weird along this line. Look, you, can you see it? Can you see the graphical weirdness? Um, for some reason on the map seam in Civ 6, there's like a little bit of graphical weirdness. There's like a little... Things get kind of weird along here. Um, there are other quote unquote map seams, but things don't get us so weird. Like if I, I don't know, I don't know how to. Um, can you see the, can you see the line running down the tile? Right there. That's how you know that this is, this is, this is where the map is sit stitched together. You just barely make out like the little bit of a coloration difference that doesn't happen on other tiles. Hope you have a wonderful birthday. Maybe if I turn off the grid, it becomes easier to see. Can you see it now? The little weird seams. Uh... I just had a new son last week, so I petitioned your name Rio to Cameron. You are more than welcome. There you go, bud. Also, I just left to feed him and I came back to a new save. What happened to Wilhelmina? Uh, there was never a Wilhelmina game. Bing chilling. Also, I just left to feed him and I came back to a new save. What happened to Wilhelmina? Nothing ever happened to Wilhelmina. Bing chilling. I'm a Sagittarius. <gasps> a spy set to infiltrate our lands. Activate Battle Squadron Warrior Berg. Buy the tile for the holy site. Misclick the tile pin. Misclick the tile pin. Wait. Yeah, my man missed a whole extra re-roll. He's way behind. A Temple of Artemis. I don't think we have an Artemis game here. We don't have a camp. We're making the money. We're making the money. Choose a choose a pa 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 one, two, two, one, two, 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 or religious settlements. We already get plus one adjacency. Desert folklore for my one tile desert. Pogger. Impregus. I'm glad that you're preggers, uh, Hiro san. May you have uh, a good pregnancy. Sacred Path is not the play here, lads. Boink. Free settler. Boink, bo -bo boink, 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 boink. Brussels.
I like how I can see this tile that I'm beelining to. Looks like a great Navy opportunity. Uh, all right. What happened to Gorgo? What Gorgo game? Dude, what are you talking about? We've been playing like Brazil all day. I don't understand. Why are people talking about like why are people talking about Gorgo and Wilhelmina? I don't I don't get it. Gorg who? True. Blue face emojis. If there was only ever one game of Civ. We ripped a, a great one. We met Menelik. Oh, Jesus Christ. There is no spoon. He's so close. Can you delegate? Come on, man. Be my friend. Be my friend. I'm, hi, I'm Bay. Thank you for the prime. Well, I haven't settled on hills, which I think he likes that if you don't do that. Right? Boom. Bing chilling. Plus three error score. Slinger. To protect my civilization. Kill. <laughs> Ethiopia rolls his eyes at people. You don't want to be his friend. Oh shit, he does. He's an eye roller, bro. Oh, we took it. Plus three air score. And then settles on a hill. Don't point out my obvious misplays. Please. I'm trying to have a career here. I thought Clay must feel happy. He's making a wonder. He doesn't care about me. Brilliant. We need some giga forest fires. We kind of do. Frosty Wasabi? I'm again going to point out. I'm going to use this metaphor every time someone tries to point this out. You know when the you know when you're in school and someone says, Hey teacher, you forgot to give us homework? That's the god you're invoking right now. Uh, I watched your 11 vs. 1 DD bonus video. Hilarious. It was really fun. What's the type of game we're running here? Uh, a birthday game where we're just having a great time chatting, playing the Civ. I don't know, what, what, what other kind of game do you need, bruh? It's an honor to meet you, hallowed Zulu player. I'm so dead. <laughs> no bad luck ever? True. Have you met my Akanda? Three or higher, holy side adjacency. We're talking a beautiful life. Oh, unmet player. Let's go for the shrine. Beautiful life, beautiful wife. Prediction for a restart? Okay. Uh, will potato restart? Question mark. Yes. But the restart never happened. 
Bing. Oh, you can't make it that long. No. Happy birthday, potato. Thank you. Ethical restart. True. <gasps> What restart? Don't heal. Okay, free recon unit is actually kind of bad. Zero cents. Happy birthday. Waiting for irrigation so we can build our plantations. These are the best tiles that we have available to us, which kind of sucks, really. But it's not the worst thing ever. We have really bad production, but we did get the free settler pantheon, which really helps us out. We also did just get our slinger. Same turn. That we can start the holy site in here. That is a plus five giga chat holy site, and we build it 50% faster because it's adjacent to eye kill. I think we're looking pretty like, you know. Like we're not gonna be, you know, cripplingly deprived this game. Prediction confirmed. Happy birthday, Potato, and congratulations on the 400k. Thank you so much, M. Anderson. When will they add the potato resource? Uh, I will petition the civilization developers that there be a potato resource in whatever the next Civ game will be. Nidoros, I'm going to go ahead and send this guy a delegation and no open borders. Oh, I do have dyes to sell. Any dye buyers? Oh, one, two... Thank you for the 9 gold per turn, basically doubling the output of my economy up to 17 gold per turn. That's starting to look nice. Um, we need to found a religion. I need to get a little bit of error score. I'm hoping we can explore our way to some more error score. What are you guys like? Here's a question. What are your guys' biggest hopes for a Civ 7? Because I think... Um, I think every iteration of Civ has basically solved some of the problems of the previous Civ and, like, introduced new ones. Um, like, every Civ game is an answer to the previous Civ game. Um, like, in Civ 4... There was like stacks of doom, right? Um, Civ 5, one unit per tile. Uh, in Civ 5, tall was like a really big thing. And you didn't really play the map. You kind of played the... You played the... Um, you played the city. You played only the local terrain really mattered to your city. Civ 6, terrain is like everything. If you got good land, you're, you're pogging. Um... So I don't know. I'm kind of curious, like, I think the problems, the a pattern that I've noticed with the developers is that the problems with one Civ game um, inevitably, oh God, please don't pillage that, inevitably lead to the solutions found in the next Civ game. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run Holy Site Prayers now to try and secure a religion. Merging cities like humankind. Honestly, I think I would just like to see um, a way to control territory indirectly. I love districts and unit unstacking. I agree with you. You missed a stone palace. <sighs> what, a, what a cool basic idea. Little palace that you build up. Um, but it, it kind of doesn't make sense in the theme of save, I feel. Not anymore, maybe. Maybe once upon a time it did kind of fit with the theme, but I don't know if it fits anymore. We need... Five more error score. And then we've got like the godlike start here, guys. I want everybody to... Okay. Guys. I need everyone to stop breathing in chat. No, no. Especially you. You're breathing too loud. Okay. I need everyone to stop breathing. And I need everybody... To start spamming their favorite emote in chat. To give me the energy to get this golden age and launch a good game today. Okay? We need four more era score. So I want everybody, hold your breath. 
starts spamming. We've got 10 turns to get four era score. Do you understand? I need your energy right now. Give me your energy. Nine turns. I don't know if we can do it, but I'm going to try. Shit. I don't even have open border capability yet. Can we breathe? You can breathe. What I meant to stop breathing so loud. You, you were distracting me. Four points. I don't know if we can do it, lads. I don't know if we can do it. A continent has been found. Was that not worth error score? How much is founding your religion worth? Two. I need a galley city. It can't happen. I can't make it happen, guys. It can't be done. I just need one more point. So it's all on these scouts finding another another player. There's three more players to find. Or a tribal village. Wait, 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 we got it, we got it. No, we don't have it. Wait, 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 I buy a monument, boom, early empire in two turns. It's not soon enough. I need a money. Wait. If I go back a couple turns, we could have made it, I think. Chat, I need you to vote. Do we go back three turns? How do I make a poll? Do we go back three turns and fix the future? Go back if it fails. Actually, I like that better. To the great beasts of the Stone Age. To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this wait. early cradle of I, I, I like it better if we wait. Will you be sending your scouts in the same direction? Probably, yeah. first stirrings of life beneath water to the great beasts of the stone age 
To man taking his first upright steps, you have come far. Now begins your greatest quest. From this. Okay. Doodly 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 do. So, we need one era score. What I was thinking of doing was if I finish early Empire, I'll get a governor title and I could send it to Brussels and get control of Brussels. That's not going to work. You need to keep going this way. You keep going this way. And you keep going this way. Um, Are the pop-up notifications that you get for disabled one with a mod? Yeah. Can you levy Brussels as soon as you get control? No, because I would get them the I would get control of Brussels the the turn that the next era starts. Alright. Guys, I need you to channel your best scout emoji. The best one you can think of. We're going to build a monument in here. Buy the monument? I don't think buying the monument helps. Best scout emoji, okay? If my scouts shit, I'm not even going to get my religion in time. I'm going to have to spend money. No, you're in the way. Fuck. Come on, man. Just I just need one error score from you. No, that doesn't help. I mean, it helps, but it doesn't help help. That's not where I meant to click. I'm fucking up. It was luxuries like egg. Early Empire. No. We're not going to make it. I'm losing hope, man. No. Could you improve after the flood? What flood? Finally off work meetings, so I'm starting from the beginning on YouTube. Happy birthday. Boo. Come on, man, you gotta find me something. Are you kidding me? That is such a tease. If this world's it's not world's first religion. Wait, where did I get error score from? <gasps> oh, I got it from recruiting. Balls. Balls. Can you buy a horseman? Did I even have the tech?
Does improving horses? Wait. I forgot I had a horse yield. Wait. Does improving a strategic resource get you score? Spearman doesn't get you error score. Uh, you literally scrolled past it? No. Worlds for strategic resource potential unleashed. You are the world's first civilization to own a unit using the strategic resource. You misunderstood what this means. It's not, this is not, building a pasture gets you error score. Does a trade give error score? No, I don't see it. Levy Brussels? Can't. The one error score strategic resource unleashed. Okay, let me explain what this error tracker is. This is world error score that everybody competes for. The first person to have a trading post in all civilizations. The first person to have flight. First person to circumnavigate. This is your civilization. These are the same thing. It just depends how much error score you get. Depends on whether or not you did it first or if it was the first time that your civilization did it. This is the better, this is the real error tracker score screen. This, this is just devastating. Wholly devastating. Um... Woke ethic, choral music. Oh man. I'm being trolled by the game. All right, boys, hold on. How do I do a poll? Why can't I? Wait, what? Here we go. Do we reload or restart? Question. Uh, reload, restart. Good doomf. We have put the fate of this game in the hands of internet democracy, the least efficient way of making decisions. The poll has been launched. Please don't do any, you know. Whose birthday is it? It's my birthday. Thank you. How much error score is religion? It's two. Wait, am I stupid? Uh Boo Boo
Could you trade the AI for gold? Technically, I could have bought a settler, maybe. I don't have horse tech. I can't buy a horseman. 60% of the votes have voted for a restart. The restarts have it. The restarts have it. Ending the prediction. The answer was yes. What restart? There has never been a restart on this channel. I'm going to go get a drink. I'm thirsty. Oh, I'm stretching. Take five, everybody. I'll be back. I'm tired. I'm yawny. Woo, hey. Hello, my squishy bunny. You are my fluffy honey. Hi. Oh. Are you stretching? You want a treat? Or were you flicking your feet at me? What did I do? All I do is love you. And all you give me back is hatred. You and your tiny little razor-mounted friends. was just resting in the account that's what father ted said hey fluffy baby i love you with all my heart you're made of fluff and love why do you hate me so much all i do is love you you act like i'm a burden god i swear to god all I want to do is pluck you. Ooh, she's shedding her hair. She's shedding her hair. She's shedding her hair in the summer. You just got a treat. You can't have another one. You just got one. Do you want another? Okay, fine. But listen, if the vet tells me you're fat, next time we weigh you, you're going on a diet. She is being feisty. Have you ever played Sins of a Solar Empire? Sounds like you need to make some fresh rabbit stew. Uh, I think it would be better off Happy turning your dog into uh, a barbecue, dude. Hey, listen. I'm not going to say... Listen, I get it, man. You just want to make a joke. The rabbit stew dough joke, it's totally a default joke. But here's the thing. If someone had a cat that they love, this is like a family member to them. And you saw them and it's like, oh, I could really go for some, you know, cat leg stew right now. I don't think they'd appreciate that. Now, it doesn't bother me. I'd eat it. Dude, there's something wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> whoever that was we didn't get a golden age till we restarted true 
Guys, today I woke up and I chose violence. Doodly doodly doo. The only man that you can't surprise war. Fuck you, Canada. I'm angry. The whole nation of Canada. <laughs> this is total war. Who deserves more? Can I? Total war. Total war. It is not wisdom. Total war. Total war. Kill them all. Did it a diddle, 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 a
Alrighty. We're not at war with you, so that's fine. You come this way. You come this way. You come this way. You fortify for a turn because you've got a lot of noise on you. Let's take a turn to heal. Let's see what they do to play out. Um, you kind of made this easy for me. Go ahead and take volley. You take volley as well. You heal on that tile. Take a moment to heal. I'll probably walk you back soon. Uh, hey, Bose, how's it going, man? Uh, yes, we are doing the... Uh, we are doing total war, which means I'm going to declare war on everything and everyone I see, except for city-states. Although, actually, should I include city-states in that? Yeah, sorry, my bad. Everyone deserves to perish. So we're waiting for archery. We could potentially pressure Canada. He might have a settler nearby that I can go and mess with. Total war means total war. You're right. Um, warrior slinger. Maybe warrior spearman. Maybe I go for another builder and then when we finish craftsmanship, we use a gog to go back to military production. Yeah, I like that. We have enough tiles to justify... Total War, we're playing as Changdra Gupta. No, I know he wasn't necessarily... Oh, this hurts me. Do we do the Gilgamesh exception? Is, do we give a Gilgamesh an exception or is he is he dead? Does Gilgamesh become Kilgamesh? That's the real question here, boys. He's Gilgabro. How could we not have Gilgabro? Wait, Bostius. Let Bostius speak. Exception not for Gilgabro. Everyone dies. That's it. Sorry, Gilgamesh. It's what the people want. They demanded blood. Okay, knowledge of the wheel is advanced, that's good. If there are no dog okay, toes. An okay twenty point zero zero happy birthday potato. Thank you. Good kill. Hold position. Stand and fight. Um, hold position. Get back. We are going to need to get the wheel, I think. We're going to want some chariots, I think, here, eventually. Uh, okay, pasture. Boom. Okay, we're, we're finally starting to get good tiles in the capital. It's turn 35. We've got... Assault and a sheep. So we are uh, the salty sheep. Our capital will be now known as the salty sheep. Um, go there. Attack him. Go there. Go there. Soften him up. 
military tradition. We want that flanking and support combat bonuses. I'm hoping you can secure this kill. Great. Just hopefully there's no flood there now. Um, you cross the river. You step into the city and shoot. You come this way. You grab the sheep. You grab... Or sorry, rather, you grab the horses. Do you know them, Button Man? You wouldn't eat a horse. Watch me. Holy shit, Ayutthaya has so many units, dude. I forgot to change my government. Fuck, that's 25 gold down the bank. Blood for the blood god. Oh, Jesus Christ. Fucking A. Might be able to do a jabate here. Jabate them into taking this and then attacking with two. We'll see. Um, go here. Take your promotion. You're fortified. Skulls for the skull throne. I can see it. Fifty dollars and zero cents, hey Tater. Happy birthday. Your videos have brought me so much joy and just wanted to say thank you for all the hard work you to provide or offer us with spud flavored entertainment. Okay, I think we've got them on the run. Man on the run. The warrior flood is beginning. Yeah. This is exactly the outcome I was hoping for. You get that kill, that'll promote you. Wow, it didn't promote you. Never mind. You get that kill. You defend from counterattacks. Mission accomplished. You stand here. You're holding. Take a moment to heal. Um, we would like an encampment. I'm going to quickly, quickly squeak out a monument. $50 donation. Holy crap. Kevin Clark, thank you so much. Uh, I'm really glad that I uh, brought so much joy to you that you gave me $50. Jesus. Thank you so much, man. Dude, Ayuthia attacked me, like, with everything they had. Um, but I think... We're going to make it. Unfortunately, we never get to benefit from this ability. Um, okay, so what's next? The Varu. Yeah. Well, maybe we go for chariots into the Varu. Yeah. Boom. All right, we got three archers, which is all you need to kill the AI. We're probably going to need a battering ram. Wow, the wheel is slow to attack. Damn. Okay, maybe we won't. Blood for the blood gun. Do we go for a settler? Hi, Jess. Thank you for the happy birthday wish. Do I go for a settler? It would let me collect up this land. One, two, three. There's horses here. It would also be nice to get the encampment. The problem is I have to buy a tile to build an encampment. 
So I kind of want the city to grow to a tile before I do that. Which is why I'm building the monument. Because my money is going to be very limited this game. So I think a settler is a good way to prep for an invasion of uh, Canada. I figure you hard focus on war, no. Settlers are literally 80 production right now. It's like the same cost as an encampment. Um, and the payback return on investment on a settler is huge in terms of territory control and all that sort of stuff. There's machinery boost at our third archer. Oh, Canada. All right, we've killed so much stuff so far. Save this builder charge for the Jade. Can I get a kill here? Oh, maybe. Oh, not quite. I can definitely get it, though. I think we prep now to advance on Canada with what we've got. Show me what you've got. Bro, get out of my face. What Brazil game? Exactly. Dark Age coming. That's a dark age. Yep. Best believe that's a paddling. Alright, he's backing up. He knows. He knows to fear me. Um Let's keep getting warriors. To take the front line. Dark Age is good for you, puts hair in your chest and builds character. I'm not sure I want that much character. I think this game has built enough character already. Boom. Um... Slow build me a monument. Get me a builder out to that city. We got tiles to improve. Can't stand here. I have to bring my arches around the back of the city. Uh-huh. We can slowly peck away at the city and level up our archers. Peck, peck, peck. Like a little pigeon. Ick. Quebec already has walls? Yeah, well, I mean, look, that's this is what you're dealing with when you're playing against DD AI, man. Give him little pecks. Boom. Apprenticeship boosted. I think I like what I see here. Growth is slow in the capital. But generally, I think this setup is okay. Nope. You shall die. Invaders must die. Unfortunately, I won't be able to surround this city, which sucks. So it's going to be a long, slow siege. Um, oh, I just need a, I need a real tile. Maybe I just buy a tile. We get that encampment now.
Oh, little war going on. Finally, a barbarian attacks a unit other than me. I'm down for that. One, two, three. We're going to get so many levels fighting this city. Um, I guess free inquiry works. Boom. Get that salt up. Um, prefer to walk the, work the food over the production, to be honest. Keep on chipping. It's not yet time. Um, let's advance. Very small. The, uh, attacking across the river sucks, but that's the life that we have. No peace. Sorry, bro. Only war. Dude, you're... Joking. The stupidest shit ever. The only thing to do with that warrior was to throw him at the city to get use out of him. At least we have Varu now. How come that city wasn't under siege? It's because the city has a single water tile that's preventing it from being under siege. Which I think is a little silly. It was a fantastic... Bro! Why are they prioritizing me? I don't get it. I swear to God, the barbs just always go for the player. The one time they didn't, they still did. Um, it doesn't matter. Once we have Varu out, I think we're basically unstoppable. Can also do some horsemen. Horsemen are quite as strong, but they are fast. We can start them next turn. That's the positive aspect of trade. One blast. Keep blasting that city. We need to get those levels. Two euros and zero cents. Happy birthday, potato. Thank you. We share the same birthday. Hey, that's awesome. Many lucky returns to you. Okay, we pop out a Gog. We plug him in Man Waver. We confirm our policies. We head towards political philosophy. You stay fortified. You're holding. No use for this builder, really. Would love to get the iron online. Waiting for the city to grow to it. Uh, Samarkand declared war on me, which is fun. You have a promotion? I'm, I'm going for anti-unit promotions here, even though I'm sieging a city. Oh, shit. We're actually so close. I think we might be able to take it next turn. Now, here's the thing. We don't need to take it. We just need to burn it. Let's have a look. Loyalty-wise, minus 14. I have no governors to put in here. I've got grievances and negative happiness. Get the hell out of my face. Um, okay. <clears throat> oh, he angry. He's very angry. 
sometimes the wheel. Cross the river to be safe. Move this way and promote. We want to get the expert marksman as fast as possible so you can attack twice. You have the commando promotion, so you're nice and fast now. The Varu is coming. Gilgabro has 90 science. Listen, guys, if you're going to keep looking at this, I'm going to delete it. <laughs> I'm going to hide it. It's not about how much science he has. It's about how much stuff we can kill. Right, horse on the way to back up the Varu. So we'll probably go like Horseman Varu, Horseman Varu, Horseman Varu, kind of like that. Um, probably be good to pick up pottery to be able to grow my capital soon. I don't even think we can afford another Horseman, actually. We can. A dollar fifty. Zero zero happy birthday potato. Thanks for the entertaining and informative videos. I really liked the last Khmer post with the rambling about people becoming socially aware of themselves and to live outside of their own bubble. Thank you, Atheist God Dragon. I appreciate you. Um, thank you so much for the fifty dollar donation. That's huge. Love you, buddy. It's actually comical how much salt you have in your capital. Iconic, I agree. Um, oh, shit. Maybe we can do a play. That's a swordsman. Um, okay, one turn until iron. Here's the thing, if we can beat Canada, we can beat anyone. Need more cities. Kill him. We need to keep farming experience on our warriors and our archers to keep them highly leveled. Fall back to heal. You are healing. We have iron now. Horses are on the way. Major defeat. I would love to get in here to pillage some of these tiles. It would be amazing. We're going to try and see if we can do a little bit of sneaking in with the Varu. Alright, he took a little, he took a heavy hit. Two pounds and zero pennies. Happy birthday, mister. Whiskey. 400k well-deserved smiley face. Thank you. I really appreciate you. Um, we're just, we're just trying to poke our way in to see if we can get some pillages off. Um... Now I really need to... I need to get to this government thing. I can't trade with anyone. Um, I can't really grow the capital. I can't with training. Would get me closer to Boudicca at least. Which would let my Varu have 50% more movement and 5 more attack. A little bit of a potential in that. Um, I'm building settlers out of Agra because it's the only thing that makes sense to do with that city. So I think my capital should focus on war-related stuff. Um, so I'm quickly going to sneak a trader into my build to trade from Agra to the Salty Sheep because that's going to be worth two production for that city. So that'll help it produce settlers. 
Um, we're going to grab masonry. Would love to be doing chopping. Um, would love to be doing chopping. Can just chop. We need shit now. He wants peace. No peace. Total war. Okay. Why don't you take another hit off him? Can we kill this? We can. Just about. Oh, the damage these archers do when they're leveled. It's sick. Chop. Four turns left on him. You're protecting against Iuthia invading and destroying these tiles. Um... Hungary's to my north, and he might just show up with a black black armies at any moment here. Go ahead and get that kill. Awesome. Step out of the city, let the elephant into heal. One attack. Who's close to a level? They're all kind of equally along. Um get over here and get chopping. It is equally important. We're waiting for units to come out of the city. We've whittled him down to basically nothing. Where are catapults? Um, let's go for ironworking into catapult tech. Trader up. We're going to teleport the trader to Agra. Late to the party. How do we end up at war with the world? Uh, I got angry and I just decided to do a total war game to see if we can pull it off. Want a governor plaza real quick for titles we need connoisseur for culture so that's plus what five culture times 1.15 1.05 honestly because we have minus 10 percent from amenities um we're looking okay you keep healing watching your videos have been going better than other games uh, it, weirdly enough the game where it declared war on everyone is actually going okay <laughs> how odd a little bit of volcano here, and it did manage to dodge me. I'll take that one food, two production. Knowledge of currency is boosted. Um, can't quite afford to attack there, but we'll stay in a nice little formation to stay protected. My main goal is to try to do damage and keep my units alive. Um, growth in this city is stagnating. I'll grab a granary to keep it going. Because I, I need to make sure that this city is huge and then I need to use the rest of my empire to pay for my army and stuff. So that's going to be the... Plus one signs per turn for each citizen in the city on Pingala. That's another five signs per turn, so that's really helping. What are the games? I don't know what you're talking about. What are the games indeed? Bing... Chilling. We could theoretically get that kill, but I'd maybe have to sacrifice a warrior for it. Is it worth it to sacrifice a zero experience warrior for a catapult? I don't think so. I think keeping my units alive is a cr like mission critical. Um, we could get access to honey. If I moved south, let's move this warrior here just to give me a bit of scouting shielding. Zone control. Um, yeah. Get me another settler. That is your job now. Okay. You move there. You move there. You move there. We shoot him. That should get you a level. We shoot him. And we shoot him. We can get the kill with you, and you have the movement to escape unless there's another unit hiding in the fog of war. Mm, why don't you crack me at another warrior before you get that settler? I'm feeling a little bit under-defended. We can maybe sneak in some pillages here for faith. Oh, we want to be careful, though. Those archers are scary. No! My warrior died! Bro, how? You're going to take a lot of damage, but you might live. Let's stay there. 
Is that a crossbow? No. Is there a crossbow somewhere in Canada? Oh, man. Not good. Really not good. Okay. There's political philosophy. We are going to go immediately for oligarchy. We definitely need conscription. And we definitely need... Well, strategos for great generals. We need great generals. ASAP. Um, looking at the salty sheep. We've kind of delayed our war effort to get the city to continue to grow vertically. Um, we could go for the Warlord's Throne, but it's a little bit of an investment. Let's get... Now that... These only cost one gold each, I'll get another like round of like Varu, Horseman Varu. Because we can afford that. You settle right there. Go ahead and get me that monument. You need to get me a builder for that city before you go for a settler, because this city needs some builder charges. You honestly need build charges as well. All right. I'm trying to keep it above board. Oh, my word. It is a crossbowman, but it's an easy kill too. Step in. Congratulations on circling the sun again. Thank you. No peace, only war. Thanks for all the great contact and congratulations on 400k. Thank you, I appreciate you. Okay. There's not really a good way for us to do anything here. These warriors are kind of obsolete except as tile blockers. A lot of my units are ready to level. This guy almost has double shot. Is it possible to click the don't ask again on peace offerings? Maybe. That got pillaged. It's okay. Crossbowman just popped out of Quebec. Nice, you're tanking for me. Good job, bro. Um, I want you to take the Corsair's promotion. Keep getting leveled. Good, 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 good. Fortify. Perfect. Fall back, step forward, fall back a tile. Is there a reason the potato isn't using the Varu at the front lines? Um, the Varu would just die. Let me show you. Sac sacrifices a Varu for content. True. I'm educating.
I'm in like full concentration mode. I'm thinking one of these guys dies this turn. Oh, we barely survive. Hold on. That's huge. Unfold the line. Why did the viral cross the Alps to answer one man's question? True. Um, let's get that right there. And many of these are rough, but we're okay. Let's keep trying to expand this empire into something capable of holding. Probably should unlock campuses, honestly. Uh, campuses and irrigation. All right, we're going to try to tech our way out of this problem. We've basically we've, we've heavily crippled his economy. We killed one of his cities. Writing. We also got Boudica, so she's going to help us a bit. It's Yos Yosemite. The man who has grit. All right, we're getting ready to settle over here to the east because this is like decent land. Decent land. Trying to make it work. Um, I think we just take a campus that we can get. Keep this guy go away. You keep healing. We're holding the front line to keep whittling away his unit so he can't get a critical mass. You're heading to the north. You're defending the tile that I want to place a city on. No peace with Gilgamesh. Get the hell in my face. Yosemite. Not sure if you're mispronouncing it for Lahaha. Yeah, I, of course I'm mispronouncing it. Who would call it Yosemite? Dude. <laughs> really? Come on now. Delete the VOD. <laughs> Yosamite. Uh, free inquiry, boom. We're holding, baby. Apprenticeship for better minds. We go to feudalism for better builders. You've already. How many potatoes are in yours? Grinning. He's three skaven in a coat. I'm th I'm three potatoes in your mom. Oh yeah. Sorry, <laughs> that was a very aggressive. Uh... Fuck. Um, ooh, half price military units. It's going to be really annoying for me, but it'll be fun too. Half price military units, 100% production towards city center buildings. Literally perfect. Take that tortoise promotion. Become a tortoise. I prefer to get experience on you because you're about to get double shot. You literally just got double shot. How much giga chatting can you do in a single day? Is there a crossbow in the city? There is, so you can't intervene. Swordsman seems useful.
All right, boys. Uh, which is better, 3-3 three, three spice or 4-2 spice? I think... Th I, I prefer 3-3. Three, three. I feel like it's more balanced, you know? Ouch. I'm wondering now if people believe me when I tell them that war makes the game easy. One, two, easy. Elephants have extra ra uh, vision range, which is a fact that I learned in this game. Only if you win the war. No, 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 no. You don't need to win the war. I just have this guy in stalemate. I'll grind my way through. Don't you worry. That's scary. What's the combat comparison here? Not great. Just trying to get down here. Delhi's in trouble. We'll make it work. You're super dead if I don't retreat you, and I would like you to live. Yep. Black armies are very scary units. I'd like to get down here and settle this. It would be cool. There is no escape sometimes. Um, set back a tile to give this guy plus one movement. You are coming around here. You're heading south. I'm trying to sneak you around to this position. You built me a campus. Go ahead and get me the library, then immediately go for the commercial hub. I need the gold to fuel my empire. No peace. Get the hell out of my face. All right, defending across a river with an elephant actually kind of works. You go here, you go there, you promote with... Barding. You could level from this, but I want to wait until a better moment to strike back. Still got room for settlers, which is good. Ow. Get that kill. All right, good, 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 good. We're holding. This is going to be annoying too. I need to get a unit to go deal with this. Um, campus. I'll take a plus one. Can't afford to wait for plus twos. Need that science now. Keep retreating. Stay fortified, fortify my horse. You're almost in position, settler. It's gonna be good. Ah, run! There's apprenticeship, that's plus one production to my mines, making the mines of my capital even better. This one needs to be repaired, actually. Um, you fortify there, you step up, you're in position. The capital city, built a builder. Would love to build a war warlord's throne. Not, not really a point of doing it right now. Could start spamming out man at arms. Can't really afford that. Um, would like to get a stable. Wouldn't mind getting another settler or two out if I could squeak them out from my capital. I hate having to build them here, honestly. Um, One science is not going to do much at this time. I would commercial to get need to go trade with market to get roads and production from Eternals. Um, so...
I will explain my logic. Uh, this is power. This is time. Uh, the red line is the current course of the game if I just keep producing units. Okay, it'll look something like that. The blue line is the course of the game if I go for campuses and then commercial hubs, okay? Eventually, we will reach the late game. Uh, the yellow line is if I go commercial hubs first. It looks kind of like, well, I won't use yellow because yellow is hard to see. The purple line is commercial hubs first. It looks something like this. It's more powerful soon, but, but I want to get to here faster. So blue line it is, or which basically means campuses. Spoiler warning. How do you define power? Your capability of killing other civilizations. Potatoes. Boiler mash. PLN 100.00. Happy birthday, potato. Thank you for the outstanding content you provide. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Time. I'm genuinely grateful for everything you do. If you ever be in Poland, I will find you and present a solid bottle of whiskey. Cheers. Thank you, uh, Matthias Zalo Zaluski. I appreciate you, man. And uh, I accept your offer of whiskey if I ever am in Poland and remember. Commercial Hub First is actually a good choice. You're not wrong. Um, but the little bit of a trickle of science, this is like a 10% science increase to finish a library right now for me. Um, that's huge. And that needs to be recognized. Uh, let's trade with the salty sheep. Let's make sure that trade route can't get pillaged. Do you not care about war ribbon as I hate that in my games? I'm just accepting it as a part of life in this particular game. Good kills. Uh, use the double shot from the archer to take him out. Now, by settling here, I'm going to trigger the hell out of Canada. And that's actually the, the goal. I want to make him send more shit at me. <sighs> Sumerian war cards. Ooh, that's a, that's a, that's a, that's a courser. Hold on, I think there's a way out of this. Saved. Saved him. Saved our archer. A little bit of a maneuver. Um, bu -bu 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 -bum. Ancient walls. Bam. Come back this way to take that tile. Bam. Okay, Sumerian is 140. Look, guys, I need you to I need you to stop pointing out the AI science level because it's making me feel like I can't win. Okay, I'm just I'm gonna turn that off because you guys couldn't use that information responsibly, so now it's gone. Okay. Uh, where do we go next? I would love to grow this city a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and get the watermill. Plus one food might not seem like much, but it's a 20 25% food growth increase. 
Big signs, good more pillages. True. Let's get that commercial hub up now. Um, I wouldn't mind a unit here to prevent this. All right, what are we looking at here? You take the double envelopment, you step back, you step here, you take the barding. We're holding our eastern flank, you're holding here. No peace. Oh, oh, I, I tried to declare war on myself. I was like, oh, I had to someone I haven't declared war on, and it was my portrait. Um, technically correct. Chop. Did we just go on a chopping spree? No peace, only war. Mathematics, feudalism. Lovely. We're loving it, baby. It's growing. We're getting places. Strategos is gone. Serfdom is in. It's builder production time. B -b 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 baby. Make sure this tile belongs to Agra so we can get this trade route out sooner. Um, lumber mills would be nice. We're going to go for mercenaries so we can start upgrading units. You're fortifying. You're in bad shape. Defend that tile. Yeah, that's fine. More culture to eat souls. Yes. Queen. Chop. Would love to be eating souls right about now. That's a stalemate. That's a paddling. Need more units? A little bit starved for units. I'm trying to I'm trying to be a little bit greedy right now. Because this is a game that has been inspired heavily by the amount of greed I've been showing all day. So we went for the least greedy opener, which is to spam units. Okay, I'm hoping this builder can build this and get out. Um Campus completed. Let's place that commercial hub. It's a juicy plus three. Get those libraries up. I think if I can be suzerain of a city-state, I'm allowed not be at war with it. I think that's a reasonable rule. Maybe? Or is it just total blood? Alright. Let's get the Dipple Quarter to improve our trade routes to the city. Um, right there, we'll place it. Fit a nice district in between it. Um, Susan Rally? Levy? Nah. He's like miles away. It's a total war game. I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed to be at peace. Creates with the hearth. Ah, oh, you sneaky mother effer! I do have a decent amount of pastures, so I would like stirrups as well as for knights. Um. You upgrade to Karas here, so it doesn't matter. He's pillaging me. That jerk. God, I don't care. I super don't care. No peace, only war. No peace, only war. Alright, we're holding. We're stable. Which is honestly more than I could ask for this game. Uh, we got our Diplo Quarter down. That's for the trade route improvement. Let's squeak out some builders to keep chopping and improving our tiles. Um, should probably get a settler at some point. We'll figure that out. No, 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 no. Come on. Okay, hockey's working. Send envoy. Don't need to. No peace, only wart. Um, removes removes woods on Plains Hill one turn before construction is unlocked refuses to elaborate further sure I'll elaborate further um, this tile produces four production per turn 
a plains hill with a uh, woods lumber bill on it would produce plus five. Um, this is more. However, I get the benefit of a chop. It cost me two build charges. A build charge costs me at this point in the game approximately. Um, what's 74 divided by five is 10, what, 15 production? So for 15 more production, I get a lot more production right now. Gilgabro just gifted us a free city. Oh my god. Giga Chad. Thank you, Gilgamesh. Nope. Nobody builds lumber bills on hills, correct. Technically, it pays off better in the long term, but more stuff now is almost always better. In my opinion. Medieval fairs for governor title. I have a governor title. Let's get Victor. Um, we'll put Victor into Mumbai for loyalty. Commercial hub. Um, a juicy plus three right there. Even though that's a good tile, I don't care. Library, I need builders over here. Stat, I've got so many tiles to improve. Boom. Question, chat, am I allowed to keep the suzerainty? Of Samarkand. Is this allowed? Is this a legal move? Hold on. We're polling chat. Is taking suzerainty a legal move? Is suzerainty legal in the total war challenge? Question mark. Yes. No. Yes, yes, yes. I'm seeing a lot of yeses. It's legal until we get to him and then we absorb him. Well, here's the thing. How is a total war if you're allowed to have peace with a city-state? I didn't have peace with a city-state. I was at war with it, but I was able to become its suzerain. You know what? I'm just going to rule it as legal because it's my birthday. But 77% of people voted yes. Just saying, lads. Thank you, the people who voted yes to make my life ever so marginally easier. Now that I get plus one gold from my markets. Potatoes. Oh. 11 euros and 99 cents. Enjoy your birthday, potato. Love your Civ 6 content. I will enjoy my birthday. Thank you very much. One, and a two, and a three, and a flip. There's stirrups, which is plus one food on my pastures, as well as access to the night line of units. It's fantastic. Um, okay. Got a builder heading down here to get these iron mines online. Got a builder heading down to Calcutta to make a difference there. Would like... To get a stable, I think. Need more units. I'm going to get a stable. <clears throat> Do I want to get a settler? How much is a settler? Seven turns of production. I think that's worth it. Keep building out our economy. Keep trying to scale towards the late game. What late game?
It's legal if you levy their military to continue total war with what money, dude? <laughs> where am I? Where am I getting the money for that? No peace, only war. I don't believe in peace. Unless it's a piece of you. Happy birthday, man. Granny being here feels like a good move. It's two more pop. Um, what are you doing? You're going there. You're defending that tile. You're defending that tile. Thank you for the happy birthday wish, Clockwork Ouroboros. Uh, build your unique improvement. Why? It's it's literally a food and faith improvement. Um, I want to trade with a salty sheep because I want that three food for production from the capital. That's a stonking good amount of production. Okay, we're managing. Step well here doesn't seem the worst. Seems okay. Three food, one production, one faith. Not bad. Um, plus some food if adjacent to a farm. Yeah, it's good near farm. I should have built it here and here, but it's okay. More population. Yeah, 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 yeah. But it, there's, there's, there's other things to build first. That's the thing. Early Pantheon. <laughs> good joke. Uh, let's block great riders. 100% production towards cultural city-states, I guess. Okay, earn double great uh, points towards great riders. is completed. We've got 100% production towards cultural city-states. That's fine. Choose production in the city of Delhi. We have managed to complete the library, which puts us on the step towards where we need to be going. I think I'm going to quickly stop for a granary to allow the city to continue to grow. Then we'll go for the commercial hub because we need to increase our gold income. Um, I may step here and start shopping. We're going for another you settler over there. The I think things are going relatively okay. G2. Channel that features a legendary Irishman whose birthday it is. James Keenan, you know, funny enough, in exactly one hour, one hour from now, we are going to be playing Dungeons and Dragons on the Save or Die YouTube channel. This is my... Uh, me and a bunch of friends, including Pokemon Challenges, uh, we put together a Dungeons & Dragons channel. And you can go check that channel out in the link immediately following this live stream. We'll be going straight into playing Dungeons & Dragons. Go sub to that channel. Uh, we play every Wednesday, or, or three out of four Wednesdays, I think is our average. Um, we play. So go check that out. Uh, become a subber. Join the Subber Clubber. I'm subbing. I want everyone to put a heart in chat if you sub to that channel, okay? Do it. Chop. That'll finish this, allowing the city to grow. We're going to work on the commercial hub. That's excellent. We've got a settler coming out. Um, Agra has finished a granary. This is going to allow the city to continue to grow. I would love another builder in here. I could also get the watermill. I don't think the watermill is high value enough. Um... I seem to not need military right now, so a builder would help me develop my economy globally. Uh, Mumbai has finished its things. I'm going to go ahead. I would like to build an encampment right in the face of Quebec, but I, I don't have a way to get any money. I'm losing money somehow. I don't know how I'm losing money. I'll be honest with you. I feel like I should be making more, but it's okay. Uh, let's get the monument in Mumbai. How was the channel name? The channel is Save or Die, and I linked it. I linked it for you in chat. Okay, we managed to complete a separate settler in the capital. I've got to go ahead and send it down here to the southeast. Um, I could settle on the olives, but I think I'm going to settle this river system over here. I think there. Um, I'm going to place a lumber mill. That'll get me the boost for mass production as well. It'll give me a good production tile in here. 
and my capital has completed a settler. I think we will grab ourselves another builder or a settler. Are we scaling our tech and science? We could be. Scaling tech and science. Um, it would be good to get a stable. Beyond the diplomatic quarter, we don't care about the consulate or anything like that in this particular game. So I think keeping getting builders to keep our economy improving in these peripheral new cities. I think that's the play. Let's keep the production churning. Um, yeah, looking good in here. The AI didn't pile on them. They should be trying to, but they seem to have like respected my ability to conduct warfare. Um, and don't forget, these are technically offensive wars. A commercial has been completed in Calcutta. I'm going to go ahead and grab that market. Um, maybe I'll quickly grab the granary to try to advance through population-wise. I need more population. I need more workers. I need more, I need more income of all descriptions. Um, do I chop this forest or... I think I chop it. I don't have enough hills nearby, actually. No peace, only war. Hi, Potato. I started the game as Russian, but I'm bad at the game. What religion should I get? You should go for Tundra, Adjacency, and Work Ethic. It's like the default, easy, simple Russia game. You don't need to turn your brain on. You can just screw around. How good is Magda Settlers cost no pop, in your opinion? I think it's decent. Um, I'm going to chop this. And then that's a one turn on that because I need the cash flow. I'm going to place a, well, no, I'm going to repair first. In here, I think we get another builder. We need to keep building our economy. Here or here, here or here, here or here. Here has better choppables. Here lets me settle another city there. So here it is. Go for another settler. Um, yep, looking good. No peace, only war. My economy is booming. Oh, dude, I'm booming. I'm booming. So close to a golden age too. Harvest. That will finish the granary and push through to that. Build there. Um, monument in here. Let's do commercial hub first for you. We're up to 40 signs per turn. Starting to be like respectable. Where's the campus going in the city? It's going there. So the commercial hub should go on this delicious maze tile, which you know, doesn't feel amazing. It's got to be what we got to do, though. Uh... Aqueduct, military engineering. It'd be nice to find nighters so we can start to plan out our plans. Let's grab ourselves a market before the university. We need that gold. We need those trade routes. And I think after this builder and settler, we need to start producing military again. So medieval era is getting ready to end. Go improve the farm. I wish I, I wish I should put this somewhere else it's okay though um mine on that tile mumbai could really use that production tile because it has no production tiles so it's going to severely speed up the monument in here from 24 turns to 10 turns it's a huge boost um let's go for recorded history because we don't have our governor titles we also would like to get guilds for our other governor titles I could probably find three era score. Hold on. Boat is two. Didn't happen fast enough, sadly. Don't have the cash for it, nor can I trade because this is a total war game. Speaking of gold, I need to get Reina. I'm 
promote her to tax collector. Probably in the city of Jabalpur. No, it'll be in this city here. Yeah. This is what we will do. This will be my gold generation city. In fact, like so. This will be the gold city, not Jabalpur. Uh, we could go for universities. Um, I'm feeling a little bit weakly defended. So I'm going to sneak out maybe a couple of, like a, a Varu or two. No, I think this is where greed pays off. The greedier I am, the sooner I catch up. Okay, let's do a, a, a stat check on the AI. Okay, you guys, I want you to be responsible with this information. Okay, we're half tech of Wilhelm. Of, uh, not Wilhelm. Oh my god, Wilfred. <laughs> Wilhelm. Jesus. Um, so I'm thinking there's a good step well there. Farm in between. Step well there. You head down to that new city. The Blessed Golden Triangle. That's true. Machinery for crossbows and military in for... Da, 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 da. Booga Booga Science Big. Who said it? Who said the forbidden phrase? No, no peace, only war. Kaiser Wilhelm of Canada. <laughs> oh, true. It's Jover. Dude, it is so weird to play Civ like this. To not be able to like do anything and just be at war with every single person in the entire game. Uh, step well here. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kappa Corgi. I appreciate you wishing me a happy birthday. Uh, okay. Go there, place a farm. Go there, place a step well. Um, we're probably going to be keeping these forests, not this one though. Oof. Remember that people break down the poets. Crossbows are on the cards. Brand new cities need the traders more than older cities, so I'll be transferring traders from new cities or from old cities to new cities. I don't think step. I wish I wish step wells could be built on floodplains. It'd be very helpful. I'm pretty sure they can't be. Yeah, they can't, which is unfortunate. Um, market completed. Uh, did they just get? Why can't I pillage this? Yoink. Thanks for 110 gold. Third district probably should be theater squares to get culture. So I can get to nationalism faster. But you should also build the trader first to keep accelerating cities. Uh, capital city has a lack of growth, so we'll probably go help that out. Happy birthday. Thank you guys for the happy birthdays. You cannot step well on floodplains, dude. Yeah, I know. Did, did I not just say that I wish they could be built on floodplains? Am I... Am I silly? Did I stutter? Are you going for nukes? I don't know what I'm going for yet. Right, we got a market in here, which means we should go for the trader. That lumber mill. I think I'm going to need more units to defend my borders soon. My military power is really high compared to the AI, which should keep them at bay. Uh, you're not ready to be assigned, but I will promote you with Harbour Master because I want that double adjacency from commercial hubs and harbours in the city. And then I want a tax collector so that I can turn this city down here into a giga money farm um really need to get rid of you canada has just like no military wait what happened to canada's military there's nothing in the city defending it 
five pounds huh. and zero pennies happy birthday hey thank you so much cold k i appreciate you thank you for the dono slash controversial opinion about civ uh my most controversial opinion about civ is that People complain a lot about the AI, but what they, they don't actually want an AI that plays the game to save well. They just want an AI that doesn't look stupid. Um, the biggest complaint that people have is that, oh, the AI, you know, um, it's too easy to beat. Oh, hey, hey, Gabrielle. I haven't seen you in a long time. Good to see you, Gabrielle. Um, my biggest hot take is people are like, oh, I want a better AI. I want an AI that's not stupid. No, no, no. You want an AI that feels fun to play against. Um, if AIs played like people, you would hate them. Uh, which is why there are like very specific rules in multiplayer Civ. Like there's certain things you just can't do because it's bullshit. I think improved strategics is okay here. Production, production. There's, there's quite, a, I benefit quite a bit from improved production from strategics. Um, so I'm going to take that. Right. Horses, iron, uh, horses, iron, iron. Just seems pretty good. Potatoes. Oh yeah, I probably should plug Raina into Calcutta Ten temporarily. Pounds and zero pennies HP percent GZ for the 400k potato. I'm a long time lurker and recently rewatching your archive of playthroughs of Civ 6 have been a welcome comfort for me. Thanks for being a chill and insightful tuber. You're Smiling welcome, man. Face with three hearts. Thank you for watching a pudding. I think the current advantages to deity AI feel particularly bad. I think part of the problem is that um, so, like, one of the problems with the deity AI is like again, if we take this as our power curve and this is the time, so time is time goes this way time and this is power okay player uh i'll use orange to represent player player power curves like typically um there's no good way to represent this but it usually it it looks like this okay whereas the ai power curve looks like uh this right and what you really want is you want these lines to match and so what deity deity does is it makes the ai's power curve look like this So like everywhere underneath this line feels like shit because you're playing from behind and everything above this line feels like shit because now you're not challenged. And so there's only really like a zone of about here where like the game is interesting and about here it's like super frustrating. Yeah, it's not a perfectly to scale ex ex explainer, but I hope it like. Frame that graph. I like communicating ideas with graphs. Graph theory. Oh, damn. Did this guy just give me an opportunity to level up my archers for free? By shooting a city? You dummy. I'm going to build a catapult now and ruin your life. Um, big fan of graphs. I love Giraffes, too. Cats next turn, though. Eh, it's fine. I'll build trebuchets. Blast. OK, 
Okay, we're finally getting somewhere on the gold front and the science front. Uh, we just need to get somewhere on the culture front. Although maybe or maybe theater squares isn't the way to go about it. I'll think about that. Trebuchets. Trebucha. Trebuchets. Let's grab the granary to allow the city to continue to grow. It's really not a good city, but strategically it's in an okay position. Oh, that's beautiful. No peace, only war. I want to learn. Well, I want to make an AI to learn Civ from YouTube footage, like oh, Open AI did with Minecraft. Oh man! So like, with Minecraft, here's the thing about Minecraft: is it's actually an exceptionally simple game. Um. With very little in the way of meaningful um, permutations. And what I mean by that is, um, like, a block being one tile to the left or being one tile to the right isn't going to majorly impact um, your general strategy. A unit being one tile to the left or one tile to the right that completely changes whether or not you can get a kill. Um, Nine months say, happy baby potatoes day. And so, I would say that like, oh my god, am I going to use paint again for another example? So like the graph of like possible states, a graph is basically. Um, like a bunch of nodes linked, okay? So, like, let's say you start here and there's two choices. And at every step, there's two choices. Um, and so the graph gets bigger every step you go down, right? So it's it, the, the amount of, like, possible okay, things you have to explore is going up by a power of two, right? In this graph. you expect from CIV7. Right? Um, in Minecraft, there's like a whole bunch of like states and shit, but you can like generalize these into like maybe a few situations. Um, and like changing a variable here only really like slightly shifts this to the left. And you can still get from here to here pretty easily. And like go to the next state, right? Whereas with Civ, right, we're talking the base of your graph is like thousands of nodes, thousands of game states, and each one has like thousands of outcomes. Does that make sense? And so we're talking like it would be something like it'd be like 10 to the power of like 10, six to the power of itself. Like this is how many fuck, and this is like some astronomically insanely huge number. This is the number of states you have to measure in Civ. Whereas you can, you and you can't generalize this because the position of every single thing has a huge impact on your outcomes. Whereas like a block being like slightly to the left is not big. It's like insane. The, the amount of computing power to train an AI to play Civ, the computer power doesn't exist, okay? We, I don't even know if we can compute this number um, in human lifetimes. All right, we're going to go ahead and grab our universities. Civ has a limited number of options. Okay. This builder can go to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different tiles. That's seven possible options for a single builder on this turn. 
Limited does not make sense, or limited does not mean small. This builder has one, two, three. And so if I send this builder to here, that means I have to take the number of possibilities between these two builders, but the, but the, right? That's two units. This is already like hard for a human to parse. Like the thing is, you're trying to compute a game of chess where every piece has its own set of rules and the chessboard is like 500 tiles by 500 tiles. It's insane. But only two make any sense. Yeah, but the computer doesn't know that, right? It has to go down. How It has to go down these pathways to learn that they don't make sense. And then it might also be possible that like moving this unit to here and then this moving this unit to here, that does make sense, right? It, it has to, it takes time for those things to be learned. But, but there's no need to compute every single state. No, no, no. You don't need to compute every single state. You have to train it on every single state, right? Only some general decision making guidelines. How do you think those general decision making guidelines are made? You compute all of the possibilities and then it learns the set of useful possibilities. Like that's how AlphaGo um, was trained. It literally played billions and billions and billions of games of Go where it was shit and made really bad moves. There are many types of AI. I'm just going to tell you right now, the training, the training data set that you would need to train an AI to play Civ would be, I don't even know if that would fit on all of the storage in the, in the world. Wouldn't, it, wouldn't the point to be training it from video rather than gross total guessing before learning the basic functions? My point is, I think Civ would be too hard of a game. I don't think, I don't think you can learn Civ from playing, um, from watching, I don't know, maybe. Maybe, maybe it can be done, but I just, I think the problem is Civ doesn't generalize in the same way that Minecraft does. Um, in Minecraft, when you're like, if you're in the nether, you're in the nether. You know what I mean? That's a general situation. Civ doesn't really have that same kind of general situation. I don't know. It, it would be hard to explain why I don't think it would be possible. Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. Literally, the only thing the AI needs to do is roleplay as their character and actually be scary in war when they are stronger than you. They did one for Dota, didn't they? I think they even made a full team of Dota bots to play the game. They made one. They made a. They made an AI bot that was capable of playing one character in one lane in a one v one with limited items and special rules. Open AI beat the world champions in 5v5. Oh, well. I assume there was limited rules for that though, right? Limited hero pool and items, yes, but still 5v5. Okay, fair. Yeah, okay, maybe AI has come along a little bit longer than I thought. Um, I would... I would still hazard to state that the number of distinct... Um, game states for Dota is lower than Civ. Listen, show me, show me a Civ AI project that's even remotely close to having, there is to no being able to pick an optimal settle location that was done by machine learning. And then we'll talk. Boom. Shoot, I forgot to unlock Celestial Navigation. Let's go for the commercial hub. If an AI can learn to play Civ well, then that's some scary shit. I, yeah, I just, I just don't think it's... It's within the current realm of possibility of what AIs are capable of. I just think it's beyond them. I don't think it's beyond them forever. 
Why did I join for the AI discussion? We can move off that. We can talk about D&D, which is happening in half an hour, boys and girls. AlphaGo was trained by a database uh, of thousands of past matches by humans, not just brute forcing from nothing. How many... <clears throat> how many games of AlphaGo did... Uh, how many games of Go did AlphaGo play? Sorry, uh, train on. In the first three days, AlphaGo played 4.9 million games against itself in quick succession. Like, you have to understand the they used a supercomputer for that. Like academic supercomputers that like cost thousands and thousands of dollars per hour to like have control of and that you, you have to like book time on these things in advance do you know what I mean um, like academics like and some of this time is like donated to academic institutions set your course by the stars anyway listen I know I'm right all right. I don't know why I'm even bothering to argue with you guys. Listen, show me an AI. I'm not even asking for it to play Civ. I just want to show me an AI that can pick an optimal settle, settle location from a screenshot. Um, and then we'll talk. Kids use ChatGPT chat chat to do their homework and assume it can do miracles. True. Actually true. I'm truing. Um, Cardala 5. Zero, zero, if we feed the Sean Bean <clears throat> Bart enough prompts. Maybe it will learn save. Maybe. Can you draw an AI in paint? I could. Potato is an AI? I could be. You don't know. You've never seen me. can't play CIVVI optimally due to randomness. What? AI can't play save optimally due to randomness? <clears throat> Show me an AI that can do good district placement? True. Um, God, I really want to put an encampment in this city, but I don't think it makes sense. I've got a bunch of marsh here that's not really any use to me. Dota has a lot of random, not the reason. Yeah, I don't know if that's, yeah. Randomness isn't necessarily... Randomness can be generalized and accounted for. Like, you can say, like, oh, there's a probability that this outcome... Blah, 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 blah. Uh, do you do lots of multi-episode campaigns or lots of one-shot campaigns in your D&D channel? We do a combination of one-shots and a combination of multi-episodes. You're going to be coming into an adventure tonight when you join. Uh, we're going to be in the middle of some pretty high-octane battles. I'm getting a walls in here to be able to start plicking away at this guy. We're about to enter into a potentially cordyceps fungus infected town. We haven't quite figured out what's going on in there. But man, are we excited to find out. Uh, I don't want to buy tiles because they're very expensive. Do -do 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 -do. It's not the randomness, but the number of variables. Truing. I'm truing right now. And okay, 20.00 expectations for Civilization 7. My expectation for Civilization 7 is that Civilization 7, like most Civ games that came, out, came after another Civ game, it will address a lot of the problems, quote unquote, of the previous game. Uh, the example I give is in Civ 4. There was a lot of doom stacking and massive un army units in Civ 5. Uh, they split up the army into a single tile. Uh, people said there's a lot of problems with armies being stacked 
are unstacked like that. In save six, they gave you the ability to combine units together into a single unit, thus allowing you to increase the power of a single unit, effectively bringing back the stacking mechanic. People still complain about the stacking mechanic. <coughs> so I expect to see that get changes. Um, we might see some way, uh, I don't know, like, like endless, le endless legend style. Maybe you can pack units up into a single tile and maybe they like initiate a battle. Uh, maybe there's, uh, I don't know, maybe units will occupy one tile. Maybe there'll be different layers, right? Maybe you'll have like range units on one layer and melee units on another layer. I don't know, but I think if you want to know what the next game of Civ is going to look like, look at the things that people complained about in the previous Civ. <clears throat> we coughed at the same time. Actually, I'm your ventriloquist. I'm controlling you. Um, that's what that strange feeling uh, is. That's when I move my hand. Um, I apologize. But if you want to be... If, if you want to know what the next game is going to look like, think about what was wrong with the last one. Because it's like the developers aren't idiots. These are really intelligent people. I met them, I talked to them, and they blew me away with their consideration, their game design, their understanding. Um, I want Beyond Earth too. What's your, what's your complaint? Um, I don't know. I think my complaint with Civ 6 is they didn't do more. They should have developed it forever. Because, uh, you know, I like money. Tax collector on Reina to keep the gold flowing. We're finally making some cash. Why is it 150 eternity of zero vision of the world? Because I did a total war game where I declare war on everyone when I meet them. More map gen options would be awesome. I agree. Um, crossbow. Yeah, you've earned a crossbow upgrade. Doodle doodle doo. I think they did bring back the mechanic to create armies in low air, like a Civ 6, even army with like 100, 130 moves. In Civ 3, you can make an army with like 40 moves or so. What? I think one of the problems that Civ really needs to address is that armies have way too good a payoff. Like investing in an army should be an expensive upkeep that is necessary to maintain your empire. Um, and right now, it's kind of too easy to get away with not having an army. And it's also too rewarding to build an army in Civ. I mean, I guess technically 4X games are fundamentally war games. So you can kind of like just be like, that's just the way they're going to be. If that's how you want to like rule it, which is fine. You, you can do that. That's actually a valid thing to do. Uh, but... I don't have to like it. The I will. Uh, I think it's silly to live how many religions can be in a game and a w as a win condition. I kind of. Agree with that a little bit I don't think I go as strongly as you do maybe armies could cost food also I don't know what the solution is but I think that there is a problem that needs to be solved four dollars and 99 cents wise box populi is so much more competitive than in actual civ games I get some of it is superficial but even in combat it's genuinely smarter I don't know. I think the developers of Vox Populi had like a ton of time and energy to dedicate to tuning that AI just right. Um, and they are not releasing a product for sale. So they don't have to make sure that that AI plays um, well at all skill levels. And they only have to really cater to their people are strong. Um, they only have to really cater to their player base, right? You know what I mean? Whereas the Civilization 6 developers 
they have to develop an AI that's like powerful at multiple levels and they also have to be able to like develop features of the game and da -da -da -da. so I, th I think their challenge is a little bit more complicated um, in the sense that there's kind of a lot more moving parts Jesus this guy's just yeeting through my territory he do be yeeting He'll be eating this ham. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Dun, dun, boom. Age of Empires AI is very good. It is quite reasonable. I would say. Took them. Um, I would say Age of Empires is probably a simpler game than this. She's in a heroic age. Declare surprise war. Get out of my face. One, two, three, four, five. Happy birthday, Mr. Potato. Thank you so much. Go, go, still going strong. Yes, we are. All right, we're making progress here. Make these guys go away. What's our science like now? We're up to 50 science per turn. Looking pretty okay. We're 20, 20 pop positive cash flow. Considering how bad we started off, you know, feeling pretty good about this situation that we're in. Uh, we're slowly but surely breaking Canada's spirit. Um... That's a process. Let's get the stable because I want my cavalry and my artillery to have better experience and the stable gives a 25% experience bonus to cavalry and siege class units. Sometimes I wake up and I feel like declaring war on everyone I meet. Gabby? True. That's how I felt after several failed games in a row here, and I decided to just have a war game where I just declared war on everyone the second I met them. Um, yeah. My spirit is gone. Where did it go? Where can it go? How can it go? Look at that sneaking in. How did he know to go there that none of my units could get to him to pillage him? Gilgamesh has infantry. Holy shit. I like how I had all these promising games and the game that I've lasted in the most was the one where I tried to get killed. Like, what the fuck, dude? Happy birthday to you, Potato. Thank you. Chat, I want you to type out the entire lyrics of the happy birthday song in chat right now. One word at a time. What are you doing, guys? You're going to get us copyright striked. Why, why are you typing out the song? Oh, my God. No, no, you, you can continue. It's typed, not sung, so it doesn't count. I'm pretty sure. Isn't that song, like, copyrighted by someone? And don't they, like, hire people to go around to restaurants? Like, you were playing our song, weren't you? You got to pay us royalties. You got to pay us royalties. Good luck with the I could be wrong, domination. though. It's a classical song? You're a classical song. You guys are really trying. Hey, you can't like type multiple of the words in a row. You got to let someone else have a go. What feature is absolutely necessary in Civ 7? Legends tell. 
that when the first man Potatoes. used the computer nine dollars and 99 cents happy birthday mr potato the I've first so man to use a computer on CIV6. it's allowed me to advance quickly past my party made a mistake who got me into the game and his mouth slipped ago. thank you so much and he was saved by implementing control z we need an undo button we need an undo button we need the ability to just go back one turn in single player just go back i need to go back in action oh oh i misclicked let me go back don't make me reload the whole game don't make me live with my mistake if i misclick let me go back What if undo button takes as long as a reload game? The monkey's paw curls. We built a stable. Let's get the armory as well. Just undo one action or also an entire round. Like, let's say I make a sequence of moves and I'm like, oh shit, I forgot to do this thing. I should be able to just go like back, 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 10 actions or however long I want to go back. Like, I'm pretty sure old world, you can go back like 20 turns. You just, you just go back as far as you need or want. Oh, this is no good for me. You're no good for me. I don't need nobody. All right, let's start building up our military production. Old world, you, old world, you can go back to the beginning of the last few. You could just go back through turns. If you're like, oh shit, I forgot about this game mechanic. You could just go back like five turns and fix all your mistakes. You can like do gameplay forks like you're playing chess. It's amazing. I love it. Usually undo buttons only work in turn-based games if no information, if no new information was revealed. Here's the thing. The undo button is a player convenience. If a player is choosing to cheat by revealing information with the undo button, that is their right to make the game tedious and boring for themselves, okay? The undo button serves to just make the game better to play. Do you have an undo button in life? <laughs> yeah, it's called a bridge, dude. Boom. Uh, looking forward to the spiffing bridge exploiting the undo button. Do you remove achievements under those conditions? Why? It's a single player game. Who cares? Okay, maybe that was a little bit too dark of a joke. I apologize. <laughs> I'm sorry. Got spicy. Um, just block undo in multiplayer. I don't think an undo would work in multiplayer. But my point is, who cares? It's a single player game. I always thought it was so stupid. Oh, sorry. Oh, you changed one of the gameplay options. No achievements for you. I'm like, dude, I'm the only one playing the game. Who cares if I get achievements? It's not like achievements are some like stolen valor. Like who gives a fuck? They're just little digital medals. No one cares. Like... If I cheated them, there's no reward. I just, nothing happens. It's literally for your own personal satisfaction. And if I'm personally satisfied playing your game by cheating all the achievements, you should be happy for me. Thank you, Liam. I appreciate you. Oh, Greg, thank you for the $20. I appreciate you, man. You're the best. Let the, let the man cheat. Right? It's a single... I, I'm literally not playing against people. I am... Like, you should just be like, 
here's your participation award for playing our game and then have some achievements that are like you have to play iron man mode to get these ones the iron man mode for achievements thing in the um um paradox games it's just like i literally i have no achievement i'm just never playing iron man it's not a way i enjoy playing the game so i just have no achievements in paradox games Um, so like I just get denied an entire domain of experience in those games because like I don't want to click a button and suffer the consequences. And that ain't right. That didn't sit right with me, you know? All right, let's start training the bad guys who are going to take over the enemy. Gabby, what's your favorite Paradox game? You will be judged on your answer, Okay. I don't trust, I don't trust EU4 people. I'm just going to say it right now. EU4 and Hoi4 people are built different. I would say Hoi4 people are, are worse though. I I will give the EU4 people that. Stellaris people are cool in my opinion. Okay, Stellaris people, they're based. Crusader Kings 3 people, they're okay. That's kind of like meeting a guy who, you know, doesn't know about personal space at like a convention you play ck3 gabby i'm sorry i just roasted you <laughs> ck ck no ck2 ck chris Eddings is really fun um i think oh shit you know what the gra you know the graph we really need here's the graph we really need um like here's a graph of like um like i guess this would be like social competency or like social grace on the x axis right so this is your level of social grace um and this is like i Ideological extremism. Okay? Now, this is a graph of Paradox players. Right? Right away, I'm just going to tell you, this bottom right corner, where people have no social grace and extremely ideologically extreme, this is Hoi4. Okay? This is the Hoi4 zone. Don't even try to don't even try to disagree with me. That's where they live. Okay? <clears throat> um I think this is like Oh, sorry. There's like a there's like a little bubble here. Um it's like a little bubble. And this is where the Victoria 2 players live. Um, I want to say Victoria 3 players kind of like live somewhere here. This is Vicky 3. Uh, EU4 is this whole section. You get you get a wide range of different people who play EU4. Uh, this is Crusader Kings. You get a wide range of people, uh, and then everything else is Stellaris. Except there's a very strange little bubble of people who live here. And this is also Stellaris. <laughs> and then inside that is an even stranger OE4 bubble. <laughs> Imperador? I think Imperador is like, I don't even know. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, yeah, maybe maybe this for Imperador. This is like uh, this to me. This feels true to me. This whole chart, like if if I talk, if I talk to a Hoi Four player, I know he's in this box. Okay. If I'm not talking to a Hoi Four player and he makes his presence known, he's in this box. Okay. <laughs> that one. This little. This little <laughs> nugget of Hoi Four right down there. <laughs> um. Feels true. Um, then I know EU EU four players are actually fairly chill, so they like live here. But there's like this weird zone of people who are like very ideologically extreme, like like monarchists and shit, who like live up here. But they're really pleasant people. Anyway. Not going to lie, I know people on that scale. Mountain Blade players, we're, that's a whole different chart that spans the gamut. We actually had to extend the chart for Mountain Blade. Anyway, look, the point is, that was fun. You could make a whole video on this idea. 100%, dude. Learned a lot. That's how you pick. That's how you pick your 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 paradox game. Okay. Uh, we'll take heartbeat of steam. Um, let me see here. Potatoes. Nineteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Happy birthday, potato. Cheers to many more games to come. <laughs> I love potatoes. Educational content. Potatoes at war with the entire world, and they frown when I nuke cities and save. Pfa. You can make a whole video based on the minute difference between most fandoms. <laughs> Is this Potato's first video essay? I've done many a video essay. I appreciate the increasing historical order here. CK3, EU4, Hoi4. That's true, actually. Stellaris is a bit of a weird one being at the front. Maybe Stellaris is the prequel to our world. Uh, I would pay to see a video where you break down the sociological realities of video game communities. Listen, dude. I would have to talk about MMO communities, and then I would have to talk about the different MMO communities, and then that would be like the... You know, the, that would be like the dark matter of the internet community universe. You know, it's the thing that binds everything together. And then I would have to talk about like the individual communities, like the fighting game galaxy and the the grand strategy super cluster. And then within, and then like its neighbors, the 4X game super cluster. And then the weird like mini cluster of those weird like basement made strategy games that have buttons and are kind of funky. Um, So, listen up. Everybody who's watching right now, I'm going to go take a break. But when I come back, I'm actually not going to be on this stream. I'm going to be on Save or Die, and we're going to be playing the Lazarus Expedition. It is Dungeons and Dragons at its best. Um, so I need you guys to click the link that I'm posting in chat right now and go here. If you want to keep watching me, if you want to keep celebrating my birthday with me, come watch us play D&D, okay? Go there, watch that thing, like the video. I'm getting the hell out of here because I got to go take a five minute break before I actually just straight back on to live streaming. YouTube.com forward slash save or die. Um, we're going to be rolling dice here. Um, I linked it in chat, right. Catch you later, fools.